Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Man Sailing. All the monsters of the old times are on my ship. Chapter 21. The tide swept in, like a scene of the end of the world with the sea rising, and had already surrounded Garp's doghead warship. Faced with the huge waves, Garp seemed to have no way out at this moment. This was why the Navy once regarded the ability of Golden Lion Shaki as unsolvable. On the sea, the float float fruit can easily launch a terrifying tsunami and swallow all ships. And now, the power of the Piao Piao fruit actually appeared on Su Emu's body. How incredible is this? Just when Garp looked grim and didn't know how to respond for a moment. Suddenly, an extreme cold came from afar, accompanied by a sound that resounded through the sky, and the tsunami was frozen at an alarming speed. Ice Age. The terrifying cold air came over, and the sea was completely frozen. Su Mu, who saw this scene, couldn't help but show some surprise in his eyes. Is it coming so fast? The observation hockey extended out, and not far away, Su Mu had already noticed a figure riding a bicycle. The Navy's strongest fighter, Aoki Kuzan. Oh la la, this is a really amazing guy. As the bicycle stopped, Ching Ji noticed Su Mu in the sky, and his eyes under the sunglasses had already become extremely solemn. Looking towards the underwater prison Impelton not far away, the monsters from the infinite hell are standing on the platform of the first floor of Impelton. Troubles keep coming one after another, and I can't even have a good rest during the holidays. On the other side, Su Mu had already returned to the platform. After taking a look at the Navy's lineup at the moment, Su Mu couldn't help but grin and said, you really think highly of us. Two admirals with the highest combat power, plus a Navy hero with unfathomable strength. In this way, you can't be too reckless. Hearing Su Mu's voice, Golden Lion asked, are you leaving? Of course, I don't intend to have a violent conflict with the two admirals of the Navy and that guy Garp at this point in time. Su Mu sneered and continued, the real drama is still to come. Let's go. It's time for us to leave. As Su Emu's mind moved, the power of the Piao Piao fruit was activated again. The next moment, a Piardo, who was hiding at an altitude of 10,000 meters, appeared above everyone's head. Are you ready to leave already? On the Navy ship, Looking at the large island appearing in the sky, Garp's expression became extremely solemn. Once Su Mu and the others landed on the island, they would use the power of the float float fruit to fly away. Among all the Navy members, only Yellow Monkey Borsalino could use the flying power of the flash flash fruit to catch up with them. But, even if Kazaru catches up with them by himself, how can he face such a powerful lineup as Su Mu, Shaki the Golden Lion, Enel, the user of the Thunder Fruit, Red Count Redfield, World Destroyer Wald, Descendant of the Devil Barrett, King of Evil Pizarro, Zanyu Hunter Deppin, and Rain Shiryu. To put it bluntly, if Kazaru chases after such a terrifying lineup, he might die. Together, these monsters are enough to rival the four Emperor-class pirate groups in the New World. Before you leave, let me give you a final gift. As the words fell, the World Destroyer, Bondi Wald, was already standing on the first platform, in front of a cannon. Walder grinned and said, I don't know how you mastered my ability, but, that's not how the Momo fruit is used. As the cannon was filled with shells, at the moment of firing, Wald wrapped his armament color around the shells and shouted, Momo, 100 times amplification. Bump. Boom. The moment the terrifying shell was fired, its range increased by a hundred times. Moreover, it also carries the power of armament hockey. This is the terrifying thing about the world destroyer. His strength may not be as good as that of a substitute general, but on the battlefield, with the power of the Momo fruit, Wald is definitely the most terrifying firepower point. How to use the Momo fruit? I will find a more suitable method for myself. Su Mu chuckled, then looked at the navy and said calmly, everyone in the navy, thank you for coming here. But I'm sorry, we are about to leave, so let me give you a last gift as a way of saying hello. The next moment, Su Mu jumped onto the ice, his big hand touched the ice, and then activated the power of the Piao Piao fruit. Lion's power, extremely cold hell. With Su Mu's roar, the connected ice layer was instantly controlled by Su Mu and raised countless times. The next moment, countless layers of ice turned into sharp blades, aiming at the location of the warship where the Navy members were, and shot away. 
At the moment, the Navy not only needs to resist the shells from Wald's hundredfold amplification, but also needs to resist the ice blades controlled by the Piao Piao fruit. This also gives Su Mu and his party the opportunity to land safely in Arpaiado. Let's go, guys, it's time to leave this place. Su Mu said, using the power of the Piao Piao fruit to control the ground under everyone's feet, slowly rising into the air and flying towards Arpaiado. Yellow Monkey, who was far away, saw this and was about to stop it, but facing the dense icy blades in the sky, Borsalino had to resist. Carp's expression also changed drastically, because Carp knew very well what a terrible impact Su Mu and his group would have on the world after they left. But, it seems that there is really no good way to stop Su Mu and his group from leaving. The two most powerful admirals in the navy. In addition, Garp, the navy hero who once chased the pirate King Roger and his crew all over the world. They could only watch as Su Mu, along with a group of vicious thugs and these monsters from the old era that should have been forgotten by the world, left safely under their noses. When Garp, Aokiji, and Kazaru blocked all the attacks, Su Mu and his party had already landed on Arpayard, and with the help of the power of the float float fruit, they continued to rise into the air and quickly escaped from the sea. Watching the other party leave, Carp couldn't help but take a deep breath, his eyes were particularly solemn. Now things are going to be troublesome. Admiral Kazaru looked at the island going away, his expression was no longer relaxed, but became extremely heavy. The monsters of the old times who had been imprisoned for decades have escaped from their cages and regained their freedom. This sea is about to go completely out of control. The second half of the Grand Line is a new world known as the Pirate's Graveyard. The natural conditions here are extremely harsh. Without sufficiently outstanding navigators, ships cannot even last a day sailing in this sea area. But at the same time, this is also the place where countless pirates will spend their entire lives to reach. Because the legendary island, Raftal, is located somewhere in the New World. Until today, no one has truly discovered where Raftal is. New World, Wano Country. This place is world famous for its abundant seastone and warriors. Wano Country's seastone mining technology means that even the world government needs to import seastone equipment from Wano Country. The samurai group here is even more terrifying, and countless swordsmen and great swordsmen have emerged from it. Once upon a time, this place was ruled by the Kazuki clan, but nearly 20 years ago, Kaido, the king of beasts, came to this country. After several years of planning, he made the general of Wano Country, Kazuki Odin, suffer the punishment of cooking, and later seize the entire Wano country. Onigashima, located at the front of the sea area of Wano country, can also be regarded as the gateway to Wano country. The headquarters of Kaido, one of the four pirate emperors of the New World, is located here. In the deepest part of Onigashima, in the headquarters of the Beast Pirates. At this moment, Kaido, who had a hangover from a night of drinking, has not yet woken up, but the fire disaster, one of the three major disasters of the beast's pirates, has already arrived in front of Kaido. Governor. Looking at Kaido in his sleep, Jin slowly said, the latest news obtained in the first half is that the golden lion Shiki has reappeared on the sea after being silent for 20 years. The moment he heard this, Kaido opened his eyes and his gaze fell on Jin. Feeling the huge pressure coming from Kaido, Jin still withstood the pressure and continued to speak. But what everyone in the sea didn't expect was, the golden lion Shiki actually surrendered to a little devil. It is said that the golden lion was willing to call the little devil, Captain. Kaido frowned and said in an unhappy tone, where did you get this gossip from? Are you kidding me, Jin? That old man Shiji, even if he died, would never bow to anyone. I know that old man's character very well. I'm sorry governor, this is the truth. As he spoke, Jin handed the newspaper in his hand to Kaido, and said in a very serious tone, the information comes from the big news Morgans, one of the six underground emperors. What is most shocking is that after this guy subdued Shaki, he took another user of the Thunder Fruit and launched an attack on the underwater prison Impelton. Finally, the three of them broke into the deepest part of the Impel Down city, entered the infinite hell, and released the monsters that existed in the old times. Along with Jin's words, Kaido also learned a lot of information from the newspaper. Are you kidding me? Looking at the names written in the newspaper, Kaido's eyes widened and he said in disbelief, among the lonely ones, Baroric Redfield. 
Descendant of the Devil, Douglas Barrett. World Destroyer, Bondi Walder. Is this kid called Sumu crazy? He actually released these monsters from the cage without caring about the consequences. Obviously, Kaido doesn't care about the existence of the evil king and the black moon hunter, because in Kaido's eyes, compared to the three people of the lone red, the devil's descendant, and the world destroyer. The king of evil and the black moon hunter are really insignificant ants. As for the warden of the Impel Down City, he is an existence that no one has ever heard of. Hey, is this true? Kaido's pupils shrank, and his expression was filled with disbelief. These monsters were actually released, and, just like a golden lion, it submits to a little devil named Su Mu. What kind of methods does this little devil have? At the same time, just like the New World Ghost Island, the forces that got the Morgan's news all took a deep breath without exception. It is hard not to doubt the authenticity of the content in this news. But as one of the six underground emperors, Morgan's never reports false news. If this matter is not true, then Morgan's is completely destroying his own reputation. IWC. Located in the first half of the New World, the territory of the Big Mom Pirates. At this moment, Charlotte Lingling, who was going crazy because of bulimia, had a piece of newspaper stuck on her face. An angry Charlotte Lingling grabbed the newspaper, but just before she was about to tear it into pieces, she noticed the three big words, Golden Lion, on the newspaper. The red light in his eyes gradually faded, and his frenzy gradually recovered. Golden Lion. Out of curiosity, Charlotte Linlin read the contents of the newspaper, but when she saw the Golden Lion surrender and the monsters of the old era escaped and regained their freedom, Charlotte Linlin took a breath of cold air just like Kaido. Is this really going to cause chaos in the entire world? The Lone Red, Descendant of the Devil, Destroyer of Worlds. These three guys were the most famous and terrifying existences on the sea decades ago. Especially the Lone Red, Baroric Redfield. Although this guy's name has long disappeared from the sea, Charlotte Lingling, as one of the monsters from the old times, knows very well how terrifying this man is. It is a super monster that can single-handedly fight against the three legendary pirate groups. Su Mu. Looking at Su Mu's name in the newspaper and the photo that Morgan's got from somewhere, Charlotte Lingling couldn't help but narrow her eyes and murmured, how did this guy gather such a group of terrifying monsters under his command? Would these monsters really willingly follow such a little kid? Charlotte Lingling took a deep breath, picked up the cake on the ground, and stuffed it into her mouth, with a dangerous light flashing in her eyes. In Golden Lion, have you really fallen? You actually surrendered to such a little devil? Are you so old that your ambitions no longer exist, or... Does this kid named Su Mu really possess some means that scare you? In Charlotte Lingling's mind, she couldn't help but recall the time more than 30 years ago when she was on Rock's ship. At that time, the Golden Lion was so domineering and proud. But the once Golden Lion has now lowered its noble head. The Golden Lion who wants to be the king of the world. Did you finally give up your ambition? New World, Il de Rey. At this moment, the island, which was originally filled with thunderstorms, seemed to have stopped the bad weather because of the arrival of the Red Verse, and a clear sky appeared, which was very rare. This is an island with 48 thunderstorm seasons a year. I didn't expect our arrival to be such a coincidence that we caught the only sunny day without thunderstorms. Ben Beckman lit a cigarette, then his eyes fell on the captain and he said, Do you want to go to the island for supplies? Although I think the supplies that this island can bring us are very few. Don't worry about it, Beckman. One of the four sea emperors, captain of the Iron Wall Pirates, Red Hair Shanks. This guy smiled very cheerfully, looking at the nearby Lay Island and said, We finally found an island where no one would disturb us. If we don't have a party, wouldn't it be a waste of the only sunny day of the year on this island? It's up to you. You are the captain anyway. Beckman replied calmly that among the four Emperor-class pirate groups, perhaps only the Red Hair Pirates would be willing to make such a joke on their captain. On the mast of the Red Verse, the sniper Jesus B.U., who was on guard, suddenly saw the news bird flying in the sky. Without any hesitation, he took out Bailey from his arms and waited for the arrival of the news bird. When the news bird came to the mast, Jesus put Bailey in the money bag carried by the news bird and took out a newspaper. Any recent news? Jesus B.U. couldn't help but unfold it and check it out, but when he saw the content, 
he couldn't help but widen his eyes and exclaimed in disbelief. Hey, hey, this guy Morgans is really not kidding the world. After hearing Jesus' exclamation, everyone on the red verse looked up at the mast. After seeing the newspaper in Jesus' hand, the red-haired man's eyes lit up and he immediately asked, Hey Jesus, is this news about Luffy? After these words were spoken, everyone else was also a little surprised. Could it really be news about Luffy? Looking at Jesus' expression, there is a high possibility that it is information about the Straw Hat Pirates. Wait a minute. Jesus' boo's expression was very solemn, and the members of the Red Hair Pirates who saw this scene narrowed their eyes, feeling a little strange. This was the first time they saw Jesus with such a solemn expression. When Jesus arrived in front of the red-haired man and handed him the newspaper, he couldn't help but say, a big incident has occurred. The Impel Down city has been breached, and most of the monsters imprisoned there have escaped during the chaos. A little devil named Sumu recruited the monsters of the old times in the city. There used to be someone even you, the boss, had to look up to. Hearing this, Beckman was stunned and looked at the red-haired. Is there someone Shanks needs to look up to? Golden Lion, Shaki. The red-haired man's pupils shrank, and then he noticed the other names. Is Barrett also free? And the world destroyer Walder, and, the solitary Red. Hearing the name from the red-haired man's mouth, everyone was stunned where they were, their expressions becoming extremely shocked. How come all these powerful people from the old times suddenly appeared? I have heard of the other names, but, who is Lone Red? Laluji frowned slightly and said with some doubt, I don't think I have ever heard of this name. Hearing this, red-haired Shanks couldn't help but take a deep breath and said very seriously, that is to be able to rely on one's own strength to fight against the Whitebeard Pirates, the Flying Pirates and, a terrifying monster that rivals the Roger Pirates. The Lone Red, Baloric Redfield. Among the monsters of the old times, there are only a few men whose existence has been wiped clean by the world government. Even I knew very little about this man. Beckman took the newspaper from the red-haired man and looked at the contents of the newspaper. This is a big problem. All these monsters have appeared. Shanks, I am afraid it is impossible for you to continue to balance the sea. Beckman relit a cigarette and said solemnly, he recruited a group of monsters like this, and caused a world-shaking event as soon as they appeared. I don't believe that this guy named Sumu will be content with peace. In the near future, if nothing unexpected happens, this guy will definitely lead his group of monsters into the new world. At that time, the balance, it will also be completely broken. New World, Beehive Island. On the Moby Dick, the captain of the first squadron, Marco, also received the news, and with a heavy heart, he came to Whitebeard with the newspaper. Seeing Marco's abnormal expression, Whitebeard put down the wine gourd in his hand and asked, What's wrong, Marco? You don't look very interested. Dad. Marco sighed, handed the newspaper in his hand to Whitebeard, and said, Morgan's news, something happened on the sea recently, and it may even affect the situation of the whole world. Oh. Whitebeard was curious when he heard this. He took the paper handed over by Marco and checked it. Kulalala. I thought that Shaki had died somewhere. He disappeared for 20 years, and now he makes such a big fuss when he shows up. Whitebeard couldn't help but grin after seeing this, and then said in surprise, however, it is really surprising that Shaki back then would actually submit to others. And to such a brat. Maybe there is some means. Marco responded, and then said with some concern, if this guy and his group of monsters break into the new world, dad. It's okay, Marco. Whitebeard grinned and said, there's no need to worry about this kind of thing. Even if a conflict occurs, what can we do? I'm Whitebeard. A strong momentum burst out. Seeing this scene, Marco couldn't help but take a deep breath. Although Whitebeard did not say anything, Marco, as a part-time ship doctor, was very aware of Whitebeard's physical condition. Whitebeard is no longer in his prime, and his physical condition is getting worse and worse. Under such circumstances, if Sumu really breaks the balance of the new world, can his father still face him? And, the opponent is now in the first half of the Grand Line, which inevitably makes Marco worried about Ace. The first half of the Grand Line, at the Sabayati Archipelago, the terminal of the first half. This is where the seven routes of the Grand Line finally converge, and it is also the last hurdle that all pirates heading to the New World need to overcome. 
There are countless pirates who want to go to the New World, but there are only two routes that can reach the New World through the Red Earth continent. One of them is to obtain the consent of the world government's member countries and the world government's consent to cross the Red Earth continent from the Holy Land Marihoa to the New World. But it is obvious that this path is basically impossible for pirates. Because of this, the second route option was created, which was to use the coding technology of the Sabayati Archipelago, dive 10,000 meters underwater, and enter the New World through the gap of Fishman Island. At this moment, in the rip-off bar on the 13th island of the Chibayoti archipelago. A white-haired coding craftsman, holding the latest newspaper in his hand, with an expression of disbelief on his face. Young people nowadays are really amazing. Hearing this, the bar owner glanced at the other party and asked, Is it about the underwater prison Impelton? Ah, it seems you already know it. The white-haired old man took a deep breath, his eyes gradually calmed down, and he slowly said, but it is really surprising that the Golden Lion guy would choose to submit to such a young man. In addition, with the monsters that came out of the infinite hell, the power gathered by this young man is something that even the sea emperors of the new world would not dare to underestimate. The bar owner Sha Chi smiled and lit a cigarette, saying calmly, what that guy did was indeed incredible, and the monsters that regained their freedom from the city were even more shocking. Lone Red, Baloric Redfield. Devil's Descendant, Douglas Barrett, World Destroyer, Bondi Walder. These were all the most famous people on the sea, especially that kid Barrett, who was once a member of your ship. That's right, this white-haired old man is the former vice-captain of the Golden Jackson. The left hand of Pirate King Roger, the man called Pluto. Silverbuzz Riley. This is indeed incredible. Even Roger couldn't completely subdue Barrett. I am curious, can this kid really conquer these monsters? Who knows? However, with the birth of these monsters, the world is about to be in turmoil again. But this has nothing to do with you, after all, you are just a retired old man, and you don't even have money to pay for the glass of rum in your hand. Marine Headquarters, Marine Ford. Inside the Admiral's office. A meeting about world change is underway. Admiral of the Navy, Buddha's warring states. The Navy's strongest force, the Admiral's. Aokiji Kuzan, Kazaru Borsalino, Akainu Sakazuki. Navy Headquarters Elite Vice Admirals. Garp, Crane, Burning Mountain, Spider Demon, Stalaberry, Weasel. In short, this was a meeting that mobilized all the high-level officers of the Navy Headquarters. In the past 20 years, this is the first time that the Navy Headquarters has held such a major meeting, calling back the base chiefs from all over the world. At the main seat of the meeting, behind Admiral Zhang Guo, there was a white screen with photos of Su Mu and others on it. The monster group headed by Su Mu, together with Golden Lion, Enelu, and the monsters of the old era brought out from the infinite hell of the undersea prison, has undoubtedly threatened the safety of the entire world. Admiral Zhang Guo looked solemn and said in a serious tone, but, we have to admit that if the other party does not show up on their own initiative, we have no way to deal with this monster group, and we can't even find the direction to attack them. The air control ability of the floating fruit is undoubtedly something that cannot be dealt with now. The most important thing is. Bang. As Su Emu's photo was pressed on the table by Zhang Guo, Zhang Guo's eyes flashed with an extremely dangerous light. Su Mu, this man who suddenly appeared from nowhere, is the truly terrifying existence. After saying this, Zhang Guo looked at Garp and said in a very serious tone, when advancing the city, Garp had a brief collision with Su Mu, so he is the only one among us who has had experience with Su Mu. Tell us what you think of the strength of Su Mu. There is no doubt that this man is no longer someone that a single general can suppress. Navy hero Garp took a deep breath, his eyes were extremely solemn, looking at the many Navy generals at the meeting, and said, I don't know what means this man has mastered to use the abilities of multiple devil fruits. When he fought me, he displayed the three devil fruit abilities of the thunder fruit, the float fruit, and the momo fruit. Without a doubt, these are the most advanced abilities in the world, but. The next moment, photos of Enelu, Golden Lion, and Walder were placed on the wall by Sengoku, and Garp continued, according to hundreds of years of records, the power of the devil fruit will never appear in other places before the owner dies. But now, there is no doubt that, Golden Lion, Enelu, and Walder are still alive, 
and under the premise that they have the ability of devil fruits, Su Mu, this man used some unknown means to completely replicate these abilities and was able to use them with ease. In addition, during the fight with this man, I sensed an extremely terrifying domineering or lurking in his body. Seeing Garp sitting down again, Sengoku looked at Kazaru again and asked, Did you find anything, Borsalino? I'm sorry, Marshal Sengoku, I didn't collide with this man directly, but there is no doubt that it would be impossible for me to defeat and suppress a guy who has mastered the conqueror's hockey if I relied on myself. Borsalino said solemnly, just as Vice Admiral Garp said, if a general encounters this man alone, he will not be able to suppress and defeat him. And the most important point is that there are too many monsters around this guy. If a general encounters this group of monsters alone, if you don't have a strong enough life-saving ability, if you are not careful, someone might die. Marshal Zhang Guo's face was full of fatigue and helplessness. It was obvious that there was no solution at all for the moment regarding the monster group formed by Su Mu and many monsters of the old times. Suppression. Punishment. Don't be ridiculous. The ability of the float float fruit allows this monster group to always be at an altitude of 10,000 meters, and with the participation of the world destroyer Wald. The world government also needs to be wary of one thing, that is, whether this monster group will one day go crazy and destroy the island above the holy land Marihoa. And it's an island that has been amplified by the Momo fruit. Even if this monster group would not do such a crazy thing, their existence is like those sea emperors, and they cannot be restrained or checked at all. Thinking of this, Zongguo couldn't help but sigh and said, there is no other way, I can only offer a reward for them. Let the world realize how dangerous these guys are. However, at this time, the sea the chief of staff, Lieutenant General Suru, raised his head, looked at Zongguo, and said, there is a plan that may temporarily stabilize the current situation. Xiaohei is still so reliable. Garp smiled and couldn't help but pat Vice Admiral Suru on the shoulder. Even Sengoku, who was always known as a wise general, was helpless about this matter, but could Vice Admiral Suru find the key point of balance? Why don't you listen to it? There was a hint of expectation in Zhang Guo's eyes. He looked at Lieutenant General He and said, if it is feasible, it is okay even if it costs a little. No need to pay any price. Lieutenant General He said in a very calm tone, it is inevitable that Su Mu and his monster group will set foot in the New World. There is no doubt that the territory of the New World has been occupied by the four sea emperors, and there is no vacant space. So, why don't we use the power of the navy to nominate Su Mu as the fifth sea emperor? What do you think? What would the four sea emperors of the original New World think? As soon as these words came out, Zhang Guo's eyes suddenly lit up. He was not stupid, on the contrary, he was known as a wise general. He realized the benefits of doing this in an instant. Saint Arpaiato. This place was originally a golden land that rose into the sky 400 years ago, and became a holy land in the hearts of the Sky Islanders and the Shandians. But now, this place has become the base camp of Su Emu's monster group. And on Arpaiato, at this moment, a big drama is going on. Little boy, you don't think that we will really submit to someone like you, do you? The devil's descendant. Douglas Barrett, showed a mocking look to Su Mu, and said in a sarcastic tone, although you showed strong enough ability and background when advancing the city, there is no doubt that. My ambition will not allow me to submit to a kid who hasn't even grown all his hair. After hearing Barrett's words, the monsters that were resting opened their eyes and walked towards where Barrett was. Obviously, these guys were not preparing to deal with Barrett, but all of them set their sights on Su Mu. The atmosphere of danger and oppression filled the whole place. But in this situation, Su Mu still did not make any move, a slight smile appeared on his face, and he said, So, are you going to betray me? Let's get this clear. The world destroyer, Bondi Walder, said calmly, I have never admitted that I am your subordinate, so there is no such thing as betrayal. Although I am ashamed, it is true as Barrett said, I also do not intend to submit to a little devil and of course, no one is worthy of my loyalty. The lonely red, Baloric Redfield also stood up, his eyes fell on Su Mu, and he said slowly, however, I can give you a promise. When you encounter any crisis in the future, I will take action once, as a reward for you bringing me out of the infinite hell. Looking at the three monsters of the old times, they all stood up and chose to betray. 
There is no doubt that the King of Evil, Avalo Pizarro, and the Xuanyu hunter, Catalina Depin, also chose to stand behind the three monsters and confronted Su Mu. Aren't you going to help him? Xilu of Rain lit a cigar, and then his eyes fell on the Golden Lion and Enel. The Evil King and the Black Moon Hunter are not worth mentioning, but, the three monsters of the old times are no joke. Lone Red, Devil's Descendant, World Destroyer. The power of these three guys is not something Su Mu can handle alone. However, after hearing what Shi Liu of Rain said, Golden Lion just glanced at him calmly and responded calmly. No need, the captain will use his own methods to tell these guys the consequences of being unfaithful. As soon as these words came out, Yuji Shi Lu frowned, somewhat confused about where the Golden Lion got the confidence from. After all, the strength that Su Mu showed when advancing the city was just to compete with the general. But you have to know that Lone Red and Descendant of the Devil, who are now in their peak form, have combat power that can rival that of a general, or even be equal to that of a general. As for the World Destroyer, he only needs to assist from the side. The three of them can completely suppress or even kill Su Mu. The next moment, as Barrett, Redfield, and Wald burst out with terrifying aura, Su Mu also showed an extremely strange smile on his face. Guess why even a proud and ambitious guy like Golden Lion is willing to submit to me? Hearing this, Redfield was the first to frown and looked at Su Mu in surprise. Obviously, facing the powerful aura burst out by the three people, Su Mu's expression at this moment was so indifferent that Redfield couldn't help but feel a little bit scared. Su Mu slowly raised his hand, and just when Redfield thought Su Mu was going to do something, Instantly, a sharp pain came, and the weaker evil king and Xuanyu hunter fell to the ground instantly. The pain from the soul had made the two of them dizzy. Then, Redfield, Barrett, and Wald also felt the severe pain. Now, do you know why? Like a demon from hell, Su Mu had an extremely weird smile on his face. The golden lion not far away looked at Yuji Shi Lu and said calmly, So, do you know the reason now? The intense pain came from deep within the soul, as if the soul had been torn apart countless times. The originally calm and solitary red, the devil's descendant and the world destroyer could no longer bear at the moment they felt the intense pain. You know, this is pain that comes from the deepest part of your soul, and there is no way to resist it at all. Even the golden lion had no means of coping with the intense pain that came from deep within his soul, let alone the world destroyer, descendant of the devil, and Lone Red, whose overall strength was inferior to that of the Golden Lion. There is no doubt that under Su Emu's control, controlling the souls of these monsters, these monsters finally did not dare to do anything. While feeling afraid of Su Mu, they chose to be loyal to Su Mu. Chibayoti Archipelago. For ordinary pirates, if they want to go to the New World, they must complete the ship coating in the Sabayati Archipelago, dive 10,000 meters under the sea and pass through Fishman Island. But the monster group formed by Su Mu does not need even so, Su Mu still came to the Sabayati Archipelago, the final island in the first half. We can definitely fly there directly, Captain. The King of Evil Government asked in confusion, why did you choose to stay in the Sabayati Archipelago? Of course, to have some fun. Su Mu smiled a little, then put down the news in his hand and said slowly, aren't you always curious about how crazy I am? According to the latest news, the Don Quixote family will pay tribute to the celestial dragon Saint Charlos with a devil fruit. If nothing unexpected happens, the celestial dragon will arrive at the Sabayati Archipelago today. It just so happens that I'm short of everything right now, so isn't it just right to use the celestial dragons as bargaining chips to exchange for some things? After these words came out, everyone looked at Su Mu in disbelief. Are you planning to kidnap the celestial dragons? Is this a bit too extreme? Even the golden lion, the lonely red, and the devil's descendant all looked at Su Mu deeply. They never expected that Su Mu would do such a thing. Captain, it's better not to touch those celestial dragons. As a person who had participated in the battle of the valley of gods in the old days, golden lion immediately said, those pigs may not be worth mentioning, but the impact they brought is a bit too great. I know what you want to say. Su Mu glanced at the Golden Lion, and then said calmly, there is no need to worry about this issue. The impact of kidnapping a Tianlong person whose bloodline is not particularly noble is not as great as you think. 
Even so, this is still a matter that is enough to spread across the ocean and attract the attention of the world government. Valoric Redfield said solemnly, it is irrational to confront the world government now. Barrett didn't say anything, but there was madness flashing in his eyes. For Barrett, he didn't care about the bad effects brought about by kidnapping the celestial dragons. He only cared about the war that would break out later. As people who dominate the sky, do we care about these issues? Su Mu smiled, then he noticed something with his observation hockey, and said, Enelu, did you sense that guy? Hearing Su Emu's words, Enelu immediately stood up and nodded. Ah, is it the same as what you described, the guy wearing strange clothes and with a transparent fish tank on his head? Seeing Su Mu nod in confirmation, Enelu did not hesitate at all. His body turned into terrifying lightning and disappeared beside everyone. Everyone then turned their eyes to Su Mu. Compared with Su Emu's crazy behavior, these monsters of the old era were probably not as scary a threat to the world government. Su Mu poured himself a glass of rum, then looked at the owner of the bar and said, Madam, I want to ask you something. Hearing this, Sha Chi, who was wiping the cup in her hand, could not help but remain silent for a moment, and looked at Su Mu deeply. Pluto Rayleigh lives here, right? Rayleigh. As Su Mu finished speaking, Barrett's eyes suddenly showed an extremely excited look. He wanted to find Rayleigh and have a big fight with him. Sha Chi put down the cigarette in her mouth looked at Su Mu seriously, and replied, I don't know where he is. That guy rarely comes back here in a month. At this time, if he is not sold at the auction house, he is probably in the noble area, stealing the money of those nobles. Listening to Sha Chi's words, Barrett raised his eyebrows and said in disbelief, Hey, are you talking about Pluto Rayleigh? He was once a famous figure on the sea, but he actually did something like that. Su Mu shrugged and didn't say much. Anyway, the purpose of this trip was not Rayleigh, so if the other party didn't show up, it wouldn't matter. Of course, if the other party shows up, Sumu also wants to try to fool Rayleigh and make him a follower under his command, but Rayleigh is so smart that he won't be fooled and sign a contract with Sumu. At this moment, Enelu had already returned to the bar with a celestial dragon. He threw the Tianlong man to the ground, then looked at Sumu and asked, It's this guy, right, boss? Ah, it is indeed a celestial dragon. Su Mu smiled slightly and said, it has never happened before that a Tianlong person was kidnapped, right? Hearing this, Golden Lion shook his head and slowly replied, kidnapping a celestial dragon is something that will not bring any benefits, but will also be targeted by the world government. Obviously, no one will do it. Do you think that after being tortured, this pig will be willing to sign a contract with me? A gleam of light appeared in Su Emu's eyes, and a plan quietly unfolded in Su Emu's heart. Everyone who heard Su Emu's words showed an expression of disbelief. Kidnapping the Tianlong people would be fine, but does Su Mu also plan to make this pig sign a contract? What is the use of doing this? The others didn't understand, but Golden Lion Shiki and Red Earl Redfield's eyes suddenly lit up and they understood Su Emu's idea. Even though this fellow named Saint Charles is not the most noble being, his identity as a celestial dragon is not fake. If, being able to plant an eye belonging to them in the holy land of Marihoa, among the celestial dragons. Thinking of this, Golden Lion and Redfield both became excited. Chibayoti Archipelago, Island 13, Rip Off Bar. At this moment, as Su Mu finished speaking, the Golden Lion Shiki, who was good at calculating and was one of the smart people, and the Red Earl Redfield, instantly understood the benefits of Su Emu's doing this. Through this celestial dragon, they can continuously extract benefits from the world government and the celestial dragon community. Furthermore, no one could have imagined that they had actually controlled a celestial dragon, made him submit to them, and placed him back in the holy land of Marihoa. When they thought of this, everyone couldn't help but look at St. Charles. Obviously, this pig is of great use to them. Boss, when I went to catch this guy just now, I brought back some things. Take a look. As he spoke, Enelu handed the latest newspaper of the day to Su Mu. Is it a bounty? Su Mu smiled, almost forgetting the characteristics of the pirate world. Facing the endless pirates on the sea, the navy was unable to solve the problem by issuing a bounty. But for those truly powerful pirates, the bounty has become more like a symbol of their status. 
The world's most vicious thug leads the monsters to attack the main criminal of Impelton, the underwater prison. Possessing true devilish means, he can unleash multiple fruit abilities. Currently, he has mastered the following abilities, Parahuman Float Float Fruit, Parahuman Momo Fruit, and Natural Thunder Fruit. This criminal is powerful and extremely vicious. The Lord of Demons Sumu, the governor of the Monster Pirates, Bounty, 2.36 billion baileys. Su Mu looked at his message, and couldn't help but raise his lips, and said slowly, it seems that the Navy's ability to name is not very good, and, when did I say that the group I formed is called the Monster Pirates? But this was just an episode. Su Mu then looked at the bounty of the rest of the people. In addition to Enel and Rain Shiryu, including the Golden Lion, these monsters that originally crawled out of the Infinite Hell once had huge bounties. Now the Navy should have restored all their bounties. Monster Pirates crew member, Golden Lion Shaki. Bounty. 4,387 million berries. Crew member of the Monster Pirates, the lone red Baloric Redfield. Bounty. 3.749 billion baileys. A member of the Monster Pirates, Douglas Barrett, descendant of the Devil. Bounty. 2.25 billion berries. Monster Pirates crew member, World Destroyer Bondi Wald. Bounty. 1.763 billion berries. Monster Pirates crew member, Thunder God Enel. Bounty. 834 million berries. A member of the Monster Pirates, the evil King Avalo Pizarro. Bounty. 540 million berries. A member of the Monster Pirates, the Black Moon Hunter, Katarina Deppin. Bounty. 480 million baileys. Crew member of the Monster Pirates, Rain Shiryu. Bounty. 250 million baileys. After handing the bounty orders to everyone, Sumu couldn't help but smile and said slowly, it seems that the Navy has restored your bounty according to your previous bounty. Hearing this, everyone looked at their high bounties and showed great excitement. Only Shichi and Redfield, looking at their own bounties at this moment, were afraid to look Sumu in the eye. After all, the master on this boat is Sumu, not them. But their bounty actually exceeded that of the captain Sumu. I know what you two are thinking, but it doesn't matter. You are all truly terrifying monsters from the old days, with bounties worth billions. Up to now, I haven't done anything that would really frighten the world government. Su Mu said calmly, so the reward given by the navy is very reasonable. And the bounty you have is almost at its limit, there is no room for growth. Hearing this, Golden Lion and Lonely Red finally breathed a sigh of relief. It's not a good thing in this world when the crew's bounty exceeds the captain's. In addition to the bounty, the navy really did something incredible. Su Mu said, his eyes fell on the latest news. Hearing Su Mu's words, Golden Lion and others also showed a curious look, and Su Mu slowly said, the terrifying monster group headed by the demon lord has a power that ordinary pirates can't match. Even the four sea emperors of the new world do not have such a huge and terrifying force. The terrifying strength of the monster group has reached a level beyond imagination. It has the great pirate Golden Lion, one of the three legends of the old era, following it. In addition, there is the most powerful lone traveler of the old times, the lone Red Redfield, who is comparable to the three legendary pirate groups. And Douglas Barrett, the descendant of the devil who can compete with Pluto Rayleigh. This is a terrifying lineup that is almost on par with the three most powerful admirals of the Navy headquarters. Coupled with the powerful means of the demon lord Su Mu, the goal of this group of monsters must be the new world. And it will be the team most likely to become the pirate king. Seeing this, Su Mu couldn't help but sneered and said sarcastically, I have no interest in the position of pirate king. In addition, this team also has top monsters following such as World Destroyer, Bondi Walder, Thunder God Enelu, Rain Shiliu, Evil King, and Xuanyu Hunter. There is no doubt that although the demon lord Su Mu has not entered the new world, his team is already comparable to the sea emperor of the new world. With the four sea emperors balancing the situation in the new world, a terrifying existence that can break the balance is finally born, the devil lord Su Mu. He has reached the top of the pirate road and became the fifth sea emperor of the new world. The situation of the four emperors is already yesterday's thing. There are no four emperors in today's ocean. To become the emperor, the demon lord and his team only need to recruit a group of fleets to enter the new world and break the deadlock. 
Now that the territory of the New World has been occupied by the other four emperors, after the fifth emperor Su Mu enters the New World, which side will he attack? Looking at the content of the news, Su Mu couldn't help but show a bit of sarcasm on his face, and said slowly, the navy only has this little trick left. When they are unable to face us or target us, they actually choose to rely on such means to push me to the throne of the sea emperor, so that the four sea emperors of the new world can focus their attention directly on us and put pressure on me indirectly. However, the navy is right about one thing. That is, the territory of the new world has been firmly occupied by the other four sea emperors. It is not easy for the monster group led by Su Mu to intervene. One of the sea emperors must be confronted. But if he did so, it would undoubtedly attract the attention of other sea emperors. Su Mu was just a young junior. Even if he had the background of a sea emperor, he would not be able to enter the new world and choose to attack the old sea emperor. Then the other emperors would probably respond with malice to Su Mu and choose to stop Su Mu, so it is not easy to gain a territory in the new world. Captain, the celestial dragons have awakened. Redfield came to the Apahato shrine and woke up Su Mu who was resting. Hearing Redfield's words, Su Mu also smiled a little and said, bring it to the Lord of the Sky and see what this celestial dragon pig will do. Hearing this, the Red Count nodded and left the shrine first. Su Mu stretched and walked out of the shrine. He had to admit that the shrine that Enel had spent a lot of money to build was indeed very comfortable, and even he was intoxicated by it. Erpeo, in the middle of the dense forest. At this moment, the giant snake Sky Lord seemed to be playing with Saint Charlos. After catching up, he deliberately bit St. Charlos. But even so, faced with such a huge monster, the celestial dragons, who had no guards around them, became extremely panicked. Even when running away, he accidentally fell and couldn't stand up. Now, facing the attack of the Sky Lord, it is clear that St. Charlos has no chance of evading. As the Lord of the Sky opened his bloody mouth, a bolt of lightning instantly fell on the Lord of the Sky. Su Mu appeared in front of the Lord of the Sky. He glanced at the Lord of the Sky who was struck by the thunder and said calmly, back off. This man still has some use for me. The thousands meter long giant snake had already developed wisdom. Facing Su Mu, under the terrifying aura of the superior, the Lord of the Sky had already chosen to recognize his master. Su Mu's lightning strike just now was only a few hundred thousand volts. For the huge body of the Sky Lord, the current was dispersed and no damage occurred. Save me. Save me. I am a celestial dragon, I am a noble of the world. As long as you save me and leave here, I can give you everything you want. Apart from panic, St. Charles's face was covered with snot, and he looked extremely disgusting. Su Mu frowned slightly, kicked Charlo's saint who was about to hug his thigh away, then came in front of Charlo's saint and stepped on his chest. You may have forgotten one thing. Your presence here is what I ordered to kidnap you. Hearing this, St. Charles's eyes showed some disbelief, and he looked at Su Mu and said, You, what are you going to do? Are you going to attack the world's nobles? I am a celestial dragon. A descendant of God. If you hurt me, the navy and the world government will never forgive you. You and everything you hold dear will be easily wiped out by the navy and the world government. Let me go. Let me go, I will give you countless benefits. If you want, I can even find you a devil fruit and a supreme sword. Looking at the extremely panicked celestial dragon Charlo's saint, whose face was full of desire to survive, Sumu couldn't help but sneer. Not far away, everyone from the monster group was watching this scene calmly. You people in Qinghai are really weird. Such a weak pig actually has an unimaginable status. Enelu took a bite of the apple and said to the golden lion beside him, Are these guys different? Upon hearing this, the golden lion lit a cigar, exhaled a puff of smoke, and responded, I saw the corpses of the celestial dragons decades ago. They were no different from normal people. As for the reason why these guys have noble status, it is just because they have a good reincarnation. After all, the ancestors of the celestial dragons are the founders of the world government, the 20 kings of the past. Hearing this, although Enelu didn't understand, he seemed to have guessed something. After stretching, Enel asked, the boss said he wanted to use the celestial dragons and the world government to complete a deal, do you know what the deal is? I don't want to ask too much about the captain's affairs. It is enough for me to just complete the tasks ordered by the captain. 
The golden lion said calmly, it won't be money anyway. After all, we don't lack that kind of thing now. At this time, Redfield slowly said, perhaps kidnapping the celestial dragons to threaten the world government transaction is just a false appearance. Hearing this, everyone looked at Redfield, and he continued, the celestial dragons are the most noble people in the world government. Even if they do something unreasonable, they will not be questioned or targeted because of their status as world nobles. So, from the beginning, the captain's real purpose was to control this guy and plant an eye for the captain in Marihoa, the holy land of the world government. Hearing this, everyone nodded thoughtfully. Indeed, Sumu is not short of money or strength now, and basically has no demands. Kidnapping the celestial dragons and trading with the world government does seem like a false surface. Su Emu's real idea is to completely control the Tianlong people and let them return to the holy land of Mary Geois. I fainted. Looking at the celestial dragon Charlo's saint who had fainted not far away, the golden lion said, I don't know if this news has spread out in the sea. Ji Yu Gao Ji Hong said calmly, the world government must have heard about how much they value the celestial dragons, and they are preparing countermeasures. I'm afraid that at this time, the Navy headquarters is already frantically investigating our whereabouts, or looking for ways to contact us, but for us, just waiting quietly for the captain's decision is enough. Just as the Red Earl thought, at this moment, because of the kidnapping of the celestial dragon Charlo's saint, the world government and the Navy headquarters were both in disbelief. No one would have thought that these guys would be so crazy. But when they thought of Su Mu and the monster group, who had absolute air superiority, the Navy headquarters and the world government felt a headache. But the celestial dragons couldn't just ignore it. For a moment, the world government and the Navy headquarters felt extremely thorny. Is the reward too high? At this moment, civilians, pirates, and Navy officers from all over the world have received terrifying bounties on the members of the monster group. In addition, there is also the latest news of the past two days. Regarding the terrifying bounties on the five emperors Su Mu and the monsters under his command, especially the golden lion Shaki, as a crew member, this guy's bounty has exceeded that of his captain, truly reaching the level of a sea emperor. But I think this is a normal thing. After all, Golden Lion roamed the sea decades ago and was known as a great pirate on par with Roger and Whitebeard. This bounty is quite reasonable. However, the most unexpected thing is not the terrible bounty on these monsters, but what these monsters did in the Sabayati archipelago. The user of the Thunder Fruit, Thunder God Enil, attacked the Celestial Dragon Charlo's Saint and directly kidnapped the Celestial Dragon, Charlo's Saint. The world's noble celestial dragons are an existence that no one has dared to provoke from ancient times to the present. The celestial dragons possess the most noble bloodline and the most noble status in the world. Even if a celestial dragon has a hurt finger or a broken hair, he will be hunted down by the Navy headquarters' strongest combat force, the Navy Admiral. No one had expected that Su Mu and his monster group had such terrible courage that they actually attacked the world's noble Tianlong people and directly kidnapped them. Now, it can be said that we are in a complete confrontation with the world government, and there is no room for easing. But, is it really that easy to defeat the terrifying pirate group that includes monsters like Golden Lion Shaki, World Destroyer Wald, Lone Red Redfield, and Devil's Descendant Barrett? Moreover, you have to know that the leader of this group of monsters, the demon lord Su Mu, possesses the abilities of many devil fruits. Golden Lion's Float Float Fruit, Enel's Thunder Fruit, and Wald's Momo Fruit. No one knows Su Emu's strength or what state he is in, not even the navy can be sure. In addition to the control of the sky by these monsters, if the world government wants to be prepared to confront the demon lord and the monster group under his command, it needs to accomplish one thing take back control of the sky. But, in front of the float float fruit user, and two of them, can they really take back control of the sky? World Government, Holy Land Marihoa. Pangu City Between Flowers. This is the place where the world government's power is concentrated. It is also the place where 20 kings jointly built their throne 800 years ago. But here, it belongs to only one person now, and the power is also in the hands of one person. Five old men slowly walked out of the room with flowers and headed towards the room with power. Along the way, the expressions of the five old men were extremely solemn. After returning to the power room, the five of them sat down one after another, and no one chose to speak for a while. 
These five old men are the ones who hold the highest authority in the world government, the five elders. The god of scientific defense, Jagor Lucia Satan. The god of environment, Makas Ma Saint. The god of law, Topman Bochulashung. The god of agriculture, Shepherd Ten Peter Saint. Azamburn, the god of finance v Nasujuro Saint. The five war gods also represent the controllers of the highest power of the world government and are the nominal leaders of the world government. Almost everything is issued by the five elder stars and then transmitted to all parts of the world for implementation. Even the admiral of the navy, Buddha's warring states, had to bow his head when seeing the existence of these five so-called war gods. Even the commander-in-chief of the entire army, Steelbone Kong, seems insignificant in front of these martial gods. What is certain is that the demon lord Su Mu is not the person we are looking for. The god of finance, Saint Nasujuro, said in a very serious tone, however, after they broke into the Impel Down city, the monsters they brought out from the infinite hell formed a monster group that has undoubtedly threatened the rule of the world government. The world noble, celestial dragon Saint Charlos, is the best example. Hearing this, the god of agriculture, Peter Saint, slowly said, he is just a Tianlong person with inferior bloodline, which is not important. If the world government does not make a statement, then the celestial dragons may put pressure on us. In order to prevent the emergence of other evildoers in the ocean in the future who dare to confront the world government and attack the world nobles, this matter must have a proper and perfect solution. As soon as these words came out, the remaining four people all frowned. For a moment, they had no idea how to deal with the monster group that possessed the power of the float float fruit. Moreover, the opponent has two people with the ability of the float float fruit. This makes it even more difficult to deal with. If it really doesn't work, then let the knights of God go out. After all, the matter is about the celestial dragons, and the best way is to use the power of the knights of God. The god of law, Saint Bochuli, said solemnly, if we delay any further, the nobles of the world may perish, which is not good news for the reputation of the world government. Yes, then after the meeting, we will use the power of the knights of God to find the other party's traces and make contact with them. The god of agriculture, Peter Saint nodded, and then continued, in addition, we must consider one thing, whether the demon Lord Su Mu will become a threat to the world's politics like rocks did in the past, and we will also evaluate it. That man is not from the D clan, and the adults said that we don't need to pay too much attention to that man. He is not the one we are looking for. We still need to focus most of our strength and attention on the D clan. In addition, we also need to pay attention to the revolutionary army. Nasu Sholangsheng frowned and continued, the navy has already checked the monster group formed by Su Mu. For a while, there is no need to worry too much about their growth rate. But there is one thing we must be vigilant about. After saying this, Nasu Sholang Sheng placed a photo on the table. In the photo, the face of the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Luffy, is clearly visible. Behind Luffy, Crocodile, one of the seven warlords of the sea and the user of the natural sand sand fruit, is lying on the ground, his life or death unknown. The power of this devil fruit, don't you think, does it look familiar? Parahuman rubber fruit. The new world, located in the second half of the Grand Line, is the place of end and destruction. The sea area here is almost impossible to move for ordinary pirates. The extremely harsh natural climate, coupled with countless vicious existences, makes this sea area a place that only the strong dare to set foot in. The new world, as a paradise for pirates and a heaven for the strong, has been almost completely divided up by the four sea emperors. Even if some of the territories do not belong to the four sea emperors, they are definitely powerful pirates who are dependent on the sea emperors and seek survival in the new world, or they have reached cooperation with the sea emperors and have a certain amount of power. Only in this way can they prolong their existence in the new world. Of course, in some places in the new world, there is still a shadow of the world government, but compared with the territories of the four sea emperors, it seems a little insignificant. The recent news on the sea has spread all over the world in the form of news. Whether it is the formation of Su Emu's monster group, or the kidnapping of the celestial dragons, or the confrontation with the world government. All of a sudden, the name of fifth emperor Su Mu resounded throughout the world, making people realize how terrifying this monster group was. 
Even when facing the world government and the world's noble celestial dragons, they would choose to take action without hesitation and kidnap them. At this moment, the monsters that have arrived in the New World are heading towards the sea area called Wano Country. Humph, has that little kid from back then grown up to this point now? Golden Lion looked at the newspaper in his hand, a sneer appeared on his face, and he said slowly, this guy was just a little ghost following Charlotte Lingling back then. Now, he has become the king of the sea and has taken over the new world. If you hadn't been hiding for 20 years, perhaps your name would have been more widely known. After all, among the three legendary pirates, you, the Golden Lion, undoubtedly have the greatest advantage. Su Mu said in a very calm tone. In fact, what Su Mu said was indeed correct. When the Golden Lion came out of Impel Down City, even if he had lost his legs, if he had not chosen to hide, there would still not be much power in this world to contend with the Golden Lion. Moreover, the ability of the float float fruit that has reached the awakening level is enough to allow the Golden Lion to sit firmly on the throne of one of the four emperors and be called the Emperor of the Sea. Absolute Air Supremacy who can accept a guy who can't hit and loses islands tens of thousands of meters above his head every day. Among the three legendary pirates, in Su Emu's mind, the one who is the most threatening is actually Golden Lion. This guy's devil fruit ability is a bit too unsolvable. The ranking after that, whether it is Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, or One Piece, Gal D. Roger, in fact, they are all the same in Su Emu's mind. The difference in strength and threat between the two is not particularly large. Only the Golden Lion can easily stir up a tsunami in this world dominated by the sea, and can easily occupy the sky and drop islands from tens of thousands of meters as a means of attack. The world government was so threatening that it was a very wrong decision not to kill the Golden Lion directly after it was captured, but, the world government may also be worried that after the death of Golden Lion, the ability of the float float fruit he possessed would appear in other corners of the ocean along with the death of Golden Lion. The world government is also afraid of the monsters in the infinite hell, so they don't wipe them all out. But in fact, with the ability of the world government, even if these devil fruit abilities are reborn all over the world, the intelligence capabilities of the CP organization can definitely retrieve them in the fastest time. Moreover, even if they are eaten by people, the world government can still recruit them or kill them. But there is no doubt that the golden lion, who is in peak condition at this moment, with his brain no longer affected by the rudder and his legs intact again, can pose a threat that has exceeded the expectations of the world government. We should be arriving soon. At this moment, Enelu said, my observation hockey detected the sea level in front of me, and it began to rise straight up, and a sea level of several thousand meters appeared. Hearing this, Su Mu took a deep breath, and a bit of excitement appeared in his eyes. Wano country, this is the territory of Kaido, one of the four sea emperors. The reason why Su Mu came here was that he was preparing to complete a cooperation with Kaido. Among the four sea emperors, Whitebeard pays more attention to his family. As long as you don't provoke him, you won't be noticed by Whitebeard. Red-haired Shanks is dedicated to balance and likes to meddle in other people's affairs. In fact, the red-haired pirates can be seen in most of the things happening on the sea. The ant likes to have children and has food cravings, so she is not a good partner. After much thought, among the four sea emperors, the only one who is ambitious, easy to control, and has the opportunity to cooperate is Kaido, the beast. This guy has always believed that he is the reincarnation of Joy Boy, a liberation fighter from 800 years ago, and that he has awakened Joy Boy's will. The idea of this warmongering maniac is just to overthrow the world government and rebuild a new world just like 800 years ago. Here we are, Captain. As the Golden Lion said this, Sumu also stopped thinking and looked down at Arpayado. The towering rising current, coupled with the surrounding wall surrounding the entire sea area, there is no doubt that from this rising current, stepping into the surrounding wall, you can enter the sea area of Wano country. The first thing they need to face is Onigashima, the headquarters of the beast's pirates. Now that you are here, you might as well say hello to the host. What do you think? Su Mu said in a very calm tone, and everyone who heard this had an extremely excited look in their eyes. Is it possible that the first opponent he encountered was of the same level as the Emperor of the Sea? This is so exciting. The next second, Shaki the Golden Lion, Red Redfield the Lonely, and Barret the Descendant of the Devil. 
The three of them instantly burst out with terrifying domineering aura in their bodies. Under the suppression of three powerful domineering auras, they swept towards the ghost island. The terrifying pressure, accompanied by black and red lightning, and the domineering aura passed by, even the reefs were destroyed instantly, and the huge waves raised by the sea reached hundreds and thousands of meters. This is just the momentum of the domineering hockey, not the collision of the domineering hockey. Obviously, with three such powerful domineering colors, Kaido in Ghost Island also opened his eyes instantly. Asshole. Along with an angry roar from Onigashima, a terrifying domineering aura swept in, and collided violently with the domineering auras of Redfield, Barrett, and Golden Lion. But it is obvious that even for Kaido, the king of the sea, it is impossible for him to rely on his domineering aura to withstand the impact of the three monsters of the old era. Fortunately, the three of them retracted their conqueror's hockey at the same time. The black and red lightning only collided with Onigashima for a moment before disappearing without a trace. A moment later, a huge dragon that was hundreds of meters long poked its head out from the sky above the ghost island, and with thunder and lightning, it spit out a terrifying flame towards a Piato where Su Mu and his party were. Hot breath. The dragon's breath burning with terrifying high temperature rushed towards the island. Seeing this scene, Golden Lion did not hesitate at all. Sakura Ten and Deadwood in his hands were already unsheathed, ready to resist this terrifying dragon's breath from Kaido. However, just as the Golden Lion was about to attack, Sumu suddenly stood in front of him and said in a very calm tone, You are overstepping your authority, Golden Lion. Hearing this, the Golden Lion was stunned, but after a moment he reacted. This collision was obviously not caused by the crew members themselves. The Golden Lion said helplessly, Sorry, Captain, I just wanted to do it. There will be a chance. Su Emu's tone was exceptionally calm. Looking at the dragon's breath rolling in, he took a deep breath. The strong armed color had already wrapped around his right arm. Then he swung his fist violently. The terrible fist force collided with the dragon's breath, and the terrible impact pressed in all directions. Um. Looking at Su Emu's figure, Kai's eyes also showed a solemn look. Obviously, Kaido knew exactly what Su Mu had done in the Grand Line during this period. Although he had to admit Su Emu's means and strength, Kaido was very unhappy that a young kid like Su Mu was called the Emperor of the Sea like himself. Without any hesitation, the next moment Kaido had transformed into a half-beast form. Kaido in this form possessed many powers and abilities of the mythical beasts, as well as many means and skills of the human form. Without any hesitation, Kaido picked up a huge black mace and rushed towards Su Mu. Are you crazy? Su Mu grinned and said, but it seems that I do lack a suitable weapon. After saying this, Su Mu caught the Sakura Ten and the dead tree thrown by the golden lion. Su Mu, holding a knife in both hands, faced the oncoming Kaido without any hesitation and rushed towards Kaido. Above the ground, Kaido jumped up and his terrifying jumping ability directly made Kaido rise to a height of 1,000 meters. Su Mu leapt up and jumped directly from the holy land of Paird and fell towards where Kaido was. Thunder Gossip As the black and red lightning instantly wrapped around the entire mace, a flash of red light also flashed in Su Emu's eyes. Extreme Caress and Slash The terrifying domineering aura surged out instantly, turning into black and red lightning that instantly entangled Yingju and the dead tree. Su Mu used both swords alternately, and the two powerful domineering auras of equal quality actually collided directly through the air. The mace in Kaido's hand did not even collide with the Sakura Ten and the dead tree in Su Emu's hands. It was just a fierce confrontation of domineering colors. At this moment, the two of them showed their equal strength. But Su Mu has too many blessings, including the physique and domineering blessings from the monsters of infinite hell. At this moment, Su Mu has the upper hand again. After continuing to increase his strength, he actually forced Kaido back, causing him to fall to the ground and take several steps back before he stabilized his body. Kaido suddenly looked up, and at this moment Su Mu had already arrived in front of Kaido. With the domineering color entwined again, a dark red flying slash was already slashing towards Kaido's abdomen. Asshole. Kaido raised his mace without saying a word easily knocked Flying Slash away, and then punched Su Mu. Su Mu also raised his right hand, and the Sakura Ten in his hand was wrapped in armed color domineering, and collided with Kaido's fist. 
powerful momentum, terrifying physique, and incomparably amazing reserves of domineering power. At this moment, Su Mu did not use the power of the devil fruit, but relied on physical skills and domineering to have a violent collision with Kaido. And on the holy land of Arpayado. Watching Su Mu and Kaido collide so violently, Golden Lion couldn't help but light a cigar and said solemnly, the captain's strength has grown too fast. Hearing this, Enelu also looked deeply at the two people who were colliding, with expectation and yearning flashing in his eyes. When will I be able to train to this level? The monsters from the infinite hell looked at Su Mu, who was constantly colliding with Kaido, with many expressions in their eyes. Obviously, even though Su Mu controls their souls, their extremely proud hearts are still filled with their own ambitions. But seeing Su Mu showing such a terrifying growth rate and such powerful strength, these monsters from the infinite hell, without exception, slowly put down their inner pride and ambitions. A month ago, the strength that Su Mu showed in the undersea prison was only equivalent to the level of a general. But in just one month, Su Mu was able to do it and collide with Kaido, one of the emperors of the sea, to such an extent. Moreover, it has not yet relied on the strange multi-fruit ability. At this moment in the ghost island, Su Mu slashed Ying Ju and Ku Mu fiercely, grinned and teased, Hey Kaido, is this how you treat your guests? I don't think you're a guest, you coward. As the two collided again, the horrific impact had already shaken the entire Onigashima. If they continued to fight, the two might cause the entire Onigashima island to sink directly into the sea. Perhaps they realized this and they both tacitly chose to stop. Su Mu threw Ying Ju and Ku Mu to the Golden Lion, his eyes fell on Kaido, and he said slowly, I came here to cooperate with you, Kaido. Cooperation. Don't be ridiculous, I don't need anyone's cooperation. Kaido exuded a powerful aura, looked at Su Mu, and said sarcastically, I have never had anyone to cooperate with me, only followers. Su Mu couldn't help but narrow his eyes when he heard this, and the strength in his body gradually accumulated, and he said aloud, Do you want to continue fighting, Kaido? Obviously, although Su Mu is very young, the strength that Su Mu possesses and the monster group he created behind him already have the ability to reach the top of the sea pyramid. Even though Kaido was very reluctant, he deeply understood that Su Mu and the monster group behind him were not so easy to deal with. Moreover, at the level of peak combat power, if the beast's pirates collide with Su Mu's monster group, then there is a high probability that the beast's pirates will be at a disadvantage. Let's not talk about Su Mu, who has already won the title of the fifth emperor of the sea. The monsters behind Su Mu alone are not so easy to deal with. One of the three great legends of the old times, the user of the float float fruit, former governor of the flying pirates, Golden Lion Shaki. A terrifying monster from the old days, the lone red who is as powerful as the three great legends, Baroric Redfield. Douglas Barrett, a member of the crew of the former pirate King Roger and a descendant of the devil who works alongside Rayleigh. And the world destroyer, Bondewald. The hunter of the dark moon, Catalina Depin, the king of evil government, Avalo Pizarro. These are real monsters. In addition, there is a little devil with the ability of the thunder fruit, and the guard of the Impel Down Castle, Shiryu of the Long Reign. Among these people, Golden Lion Shaki and Redfield are undoubtedly above the level of Admiral. In their prime, these two guys can even fight against two Admiral-level beings on their own. And Douglas Barrett is undoubtedly a top monster comparable to a general. The monster group is equivalent to the three strongest forces of the Navy headquarters, plus there is a Captain Sumu who has seized the title of the five emperors. Although Kaido is ambitious and impulsive, it does not mean that Kaido is a stupid person. The beast's pirates will definitely be the ones to suffer if they clash with these monsters. Humph. I didn't expect that an old man like you would follow others and become someone else's vassal. Kaido's eyes fell on the golden lion not far away and he couldn't help but sneer, are you still the golden lion who looked down on everything in your prime? Upon hearing this, the golden lion extinguished his cigar, and his eyes like a lion fell on Kaido, sneering, the little brat next to Big Mom has grown to this point, but who gave you the confidence to talk to me like this? Just relying on the beast's pirates you founded. These two people were both members of the rocks pirates back then, but the difference is that golden lion was a member of the rocks pirates cadre. Kaido was the captain of the Rocks Pirates back then. He was just a trainee crew member and a kid following Charlotte Linlin. 
Times have changed, Golden Lion, old guys like you should just leave the stage. As Kaido spoke, he was already ready to take action. The huge mace was already covered with an astonishing layer of lightning. Do you think I'm afraid of you? As the Golden Lion spoke, his powerful domineering aura was already eager to try. Shiji. When Su Emu's voice came, the Golden Lion's face changed. After looking at Kaido deeply, he relaxed. Ah, I understand Captain, I won't do it again. After hearing this, Kaido looked at the Golden Lion with even more mockery. But even though his expression showed this, in fact, Kaido was already extremely shocked and unbelievable at this moment. Kaido is very familiar with the character of Golden Lion. When they were on that ship, even rocks could not make Golden Lion surrender. The sentence Kaido heard most often was that Golden Lion would sometimes say that he wanted to leave the rocks pirates and choose to do his own business. But now, the Golden Lion is so honest, it seems that he has completely surrendered to Su Mew. What kind of means and abilities does this guy have that can make this extremely proud Golden Lion surrender to such an extent? Marine Headquarters, Marineford. In the Marshal's office, the sound of Den Den Mushi rang out, and Zan Guo immediately answered the Den Den Mushi and asked, Have you found any trace? Marshal Sengoku. Based on the waters of Wano country, the surveillance ship responsible for the beast pirates discovered the five emperors Su Mu and his monster group. At this moment, the five emperors Su Mu has already stepped into Onigashima, and a battle broke out with Kaido. The two of them collided and the result was evenly matched, and the winner was still undecided. At this moment, the monster group has already entered Onigashima and made contact with the beast's pirates. Hearing the words coming from Den Den Mushi, Zanguo's face became extremely ugly. What did you say? Five emperors Sumu and Kaido of beasts came into contact. Yes, Marshal. We don't know the situation inside Onigashima at this moment, but after the five emperors Sumu and his monster group entered Onigashima, they did not have too violent a collision with the beast's pirates. As soon as these words came out, Zanguo's face also showed an extremely solemn expression, and he responded, I understand, continue to monitor, and ensure your own safety. Yes. Marshal of the Warring States period. After the Den Den Mushi hung up, Sengoku's expression was replaced by a solemn look. His mind was filled with a myriad of thoughts, and he couldn't guess for a moment why Su Mu and the beast's pirates had come into contact. But there is no doubt that now that we have obtained the whereabouts of the fifth emperor Su Mu and know the whereabouts of the monster group under his command, the navy must be dispatched. Who let Su Mu hold the life of a world noble, a Tianlong man, in his hands? If the celestial dragons are not brought back as soon as possible, the world government will put pressure on the navy, which is something that Sengoku is unwilling to face. Notify Kazaru and prepare to go out to the sea immediately, heading to the waters of Wano country. In addition, contact Sakaski from the New World, have him reunite with Kazaru, and then immediately head to the waters of Wano country to prepare for the battle with the five emperors Sumu. Zan Guo's eyes were very serious, and then his gaze fell on Vice Admiral Suru beside him, and he asked, where did that guy Garp go? Not sure, but after hearing that his grandson defeated Crocodile, one of the seven warlords of the sea, he set sail with his warships and left the navy headquarters. Hearing this, Zan Guo's face became even uglier, and he said unhappily, Garp, that fool, doesn't he know how serious the current situation is? Forget it. Kuzan has to put aside his recent work. Facing the five emperors Su Mu and the monster group under his command, I am afraid that I can't suppress them with the power of two generals. Let Kuzan go to the new world as soon as possible. After saying this, Zan Guo looked at Vice Admiral Crane and said, by the way, contact Dao Tu and Cha Tu, and have them come with us. I want to see if those monsters from the old era that have been imprisoned for decades can stop the peak combat power of the new era navy. Inside Onigashima, at this moment, all members of the Beast Pirates are in a standoff with Su Mu and the monster group. The Beast Pirates, led by the five emperors Kaido. And behind Kaido, the King of Beasts, are the three great disasters of the Beast's Pirates, also known as the three great billboards. Fire Disaster Ashes. Plague Quinn. Drought Jack. The strength of the three big bosses are all extremely powerful, especially the leader of the three big bosses, Flame Disaster Jinx, who possesses a powerful combat power that rivals the admirals of the navy. 
In addition to the three major disasters, there are also top-notch powerful warriors like the Six Lingkong. Even in the waters of the New World, the Six Lingkong are so powerful that they can stand out on their own. In addition, there is a Devil Fruit Corps composed of nearly 500 artificial animal-type Devil Fruit users. To be honest, the paper strength of the beast's pirates is definitely far ahead among the five emperors. If you look at it individually, it is indeed true. After all, among the other five emperors' groups, the Whitebeard Pirates is only supported by Whitebeard alone. Although there are 16 captains under his command, the only ones who can fight are Phoenix Marco, Diamond Joes, Flower Sword Vista and Fire Fist Ace. And except for Marco, who has a brief period of combat power that can rival the Admiral, the other captains have no ability to resist the Admiral-level combat power. Big as for the MOM Pirates, Big Mom has a pretty good group of sons under her. The strength of the three Desert Generals is also acceptable, but compared with the three leaders of the Beast's Pirates, they are still a step behind. As for the Red Hair Pirates, it is a bit difficult to evaluate them, because they are an elite group and even the weakest member on the ship has the combat power of a rear admiral. It is also the only pirate group that possesses two emperor-level combat powers. Of course, this does not include Su Emu's monster group. After all, among Su Emu's monster group, if the emperor-level combat power is counted, plus the Golden Lion and the Red Earl, there are a total of three. In a few years, when Douglas Barrett reaches his peak, he will surely be comparable to an emperor-level fighter. The four emperors. It's just a joke. In the future, Sumu can rival the four emperors just by relying on the monster group under his command. But what makes the four emperors powerful is not their own strength, but the powerful forces they possess. If we say that the four emperors are particularly powerful, it is actually not to an outrageous degree. The peak combat power of this sea is nothing more than the admiral level, and the four emperors are just at the peak of the admiral level, and one of their special features is outstanding, surpassing the ordinary admirals. For example, Kaido's immortal body, Charlotte Linlin's steel balloon and soul, Whitebeard. Whitebeard is an exception. When this old guy was at his peak, whether it was his physique, devil fruit, or domineering, he seemed to have surpassed the admiral in all aspects. Therefore, the four emperors are not truly able to crush the admirals in terms of strength, because one of the four emperors can only face the attack of two admirals at most, and even if he remains undefeated for a period of time, he still has the possibility of being defeated after a long time. What really gives people a headache about the four emperors is their terrifying power and influence. At this moment, Su Mu looked at the solemn appearance of the beast's pirates, and a smile appeared on his face. Hey Kaido, do you think you can't win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, so you're ready to fight in a group? Do you think this sea is a fight between thugs on the street? If you really want to start a war, you have to think about the consequences. As soon as the words fell, the powerful domineering aura in Su Emu's body burst out instantly. Standing behind Su Mu were several monsters from the infinite hell and terrifying strongmen from the old times. Golden Lion Shiki, Redfield, Barrett, World Destroyer. These monsters, which were famous in the sea in the old times, all emitted their own auras at the moment when Su Mu burst out with his domineering color, and looked at the beast's pirates with extremely dangerous eyes. Do you think I'm scared? Kaido shouted angrily. Just when Kaido was about to attack, Flame Disaster Jin blocked Kaido's way and said solemnly, Governor, I don't recommend getting into conflict with the other party. As soon as the words fell, Kaido's eyes instantly fell on Jin, filled with a dangerous aura, suppressing Jin. Although Jin is very powerful and is the leader of the Three Beasts Pirates, Jin still feels terrified when facing the powerful aura coming from Kaido. Obviously, Kaido's strength is far beyond Jin's. Jin, are you teaching me how to do things? Governor. Jin took a deep breath, his eyes flashing with a solemn light, and said solemnly, that's not the case, but the impact brought about by our war with the other party may be beyond imagination. Governor, even if you are strong enough to defeat the other captain, we have no way to stop Golden Lion Shiki, Red Earl Redfield, Devil Descendant Barrett, World Destroyer Wald and others, so Governor, instead of having a conflict with them, it is better to listen to what kind of cooperation they want to have with us. As soon as these words came out, the dangerous light in Kaido's eyes dissipated a little, and then he looked towards the location of Sumu and others. 
Although the beasts pirates have a firm advantage in terms of numbers, the problem is that in this world, numbers are of no use to the truly strong. Just listen to you. After saying this, Kaido looked at Mew suddenly shouted, Little devil. Don't think that you can be equal to me after you seize the position of the five emperors. Even if you cooperate with me, I will at least get 70% of the benefits. Otherwise, why should I cooperate with a kid like you? However, after hearing this, Su Mew showed a strange smile on his face and said slowly, Are you overestimating yourself, Kaido, 70% of the benefits? Are you kidding me? I can give you 70% of the benefits, but the question is, do you think you can eat it? Kaido's expression remained unchanged. Looking at Su Emu's extremely dangerous look, he couldn't help but sneered. Huh, are you looking down on me? This is just telling the truth. As soon as the voice fell, Su Emu's eyes fell on the golden lion, and the golden lion nodded, using the power of the floating fruit to attract a jar of wine from a paird, and then it fell in front of Su Mew. You guy, after entering the new world, instead of grabbing territory, you come to me for cooperation. Kaido glanced at Su Mew, his eyes flickering with confusion, and said, Do you want me to help you grab territory? Contacts between sea emperors often mean that some major events are about to break out. As the new fifth emperor of the sea, after entering the new world, Su Mew did not look for opportunities to seize his own territory. Instead, he ran to the waters of Wano country, to the territory of the beast's pirates, to discuss cooperation with Kaido. To be honest, Kaido already had his own guesses about this matter. Su Mew definitely came to discuss cooperation with him and asked him to help grab territory. Even if they didn't ask me to help grab the territory, it was definitely related to me. Kaido looked at Su Mew deeply, waiting for him to speak. After Su Mew poured himself a bowl of wine, he threw the jar directly to Kaido. After grabbing the wine jar, Kaido took a gulp and said, We've fought and drank, now tell me, kid, what are you going to do? Do you believe that a war will break out between the Navy and Whitebeard soon? Su Emu's eyes flashed with brilliance, and he looked at Kaido and said, and the battle will take place in the first half of the Grand Line, at the Navy headquarters. Kaido was stunned at first, and then he couldn't help but sneer, boy, do you think I'm stupid? Whitebeard, that guy, has his own family, so why did he take the members of the Whitebeard Pirates to the first half of the Grand Line and clash with the Navy? Do you think Whitebeard is a stupid guy? Seeing Kaido's disbelief, Su Mew did not explain, but just threw a photo in front of Kaido. Kaido couldn't help but frown when he saw this, then he looked at the content in the photo, narrowed his eyes and asked, what is this? Captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division, Ace the Fire Fist. Su Mew took a sip of wine and said calmly, this guy is now hunting down the traitor of the Whitebeard Pirates, that is, Blackbeard, Marshal. D. Titch. What does this have to do with the Whitebeard Pirates going to war with the Marine Headquarters? Kaido frowned, his heart filled with confusion, looking at Su Mew waiting for an answer. Su Mew couldn't help but grin after hearing this and asked, have you ever heard of Blackbeard? Just an ant. I have never heard of this guy. Su Mew was not confused when he heard this, because Blackbeard was indeed an unknown existence before he obtained the Dark Dark Fruit and betrayed the Whitebeard Pirates. Twenty years ago, this guy fought Red Hair Shanks for three days and three nights by himself. The scar on Red Hair Shanks' face was also left by this guy. After listening to Su Emu's words, Kaido was a little surprised. Kaido was very clear about the strength of Red Hair. Even twenty years ago, when Red Hair was still a kid, his strength had reached an unimaginable level. Blackbeard could leave a scar like that on the opponent's face, so he is definitely not a weakling. How could such a guy remain unknown for 20 years? Seeing Kaido lost in thought, Su Mew continued, back then, he could leave scars on Red Hair's face. Now, 20 years have passed. How strong do you think this guy is? Moreover, with such a strong strength, he endured for 20 years just to seize the power of a devil fruit. After the devil fruit was born, he killed his companions who had been with him for more than 20 years without any hesitation and betrayed the Whitebeard Pirates. I still don't understand, even if this guy is extremely powerful, what does he have to do with the war between the Whitebeard Pirates and the Navy headquarters? Kaido interrupted Su Mew and said impatiently, can you tell me the reason directly? I don't have time to listen to your story. 
However, Su Mu glanced at Kaido and continued slowly. Blackbeard, Marshal D. Teach, the devil fruit ability he possesses is called the Dark Dark Fruit, possesses the ability to suppress all devil fruits. Although it is a natural type, it cannot be elementalized and needs to withstand double the damage. All of this is because the power of the Dark Dark Fruit is too powerful, and it can seize and transfer the devil fruit abilities of other ability users, and, it is rumored that this guy has three hearts, which may mean that this guy can possess the abilities of multiple devil fruits. Hearing this, Kaido's eyes fell on Su Mu and looked at Su Emu's chest. After all, everyone on the sea now knows that Su Mu is also a user of multiple fruit abilities, and one that has never appeared before. The float float fruit, the momo fruit, the thunder fruit, these top-level devil fruit abilities are all mastered by Su Mu. Does Su Mu also have three hearts? As if seeing through Kaido's thoughts, Su Mu said calmly, I can master the power of the devil fruit because of other means, and it is a mastery without side effects, so I don't have three hearts. Let's get back to the topic. Although the strength of Fire Fist Ace is good, it is almost impossible to capture Blackbeard. And, if Blackbeard, who has the ability to seize devil fruits, catches Ace, the Fire Fist, what do you think he will do? Hearing this, Kaido frowned, shook his head and did not answer, while Su Mu continued, Blackbeard and I are both ambitious, so after catching Fire Fist Ace, he will definitely hand him over to the Navy, because Blackbeard knows very well how much Whitebeard values his family. Moreover, Fire Fist Ace has an extremely special identity, which is an existence that the Navy cannot refuse. Blackbeard can even use Fire Fist Ace to trade for the position of Shichibukai from the Navy. Once the plan is established, after Blackbeard becomes one of the seven warlords of the sea, he may enter Impel Down like me, looking for suitable monsters as companions, and, given how much Whitebeard values his family, he will definitely go to the Marine Headquarters to save Fire Fist Ace. And the special identity of Fire Fist Ace, he is the only offspring of Pirate King Roger. Once this identity is exposed, the Navy will definitely conduct a public execution to suppress the current pirate forces on the sea. At this point, Su Emu's eyes also fell on Kaido, and he continued, Whitebeard left the New World and went to the Navy headquarters. What do you think of Whitebeard's territory in the New World, who else can protect? So Kaido, you should understand what I mean, right? After listening to Su Emu's words, Kaido looked at Su Mu at this moment as if he was looking at a devil. If things really go as Su Mu said, then wouldn't it be too scary? In the current ocean, Fire Fist Ace may not have met Blackbeard yet, but now Su Mu has calculated all the things that may happen in the future. If this really happens, then, Su Mu will become the most untouchable person in Kaido's heart. This method is even more terrifying than the ability to foresee the future with observation hockey. The ability to see the future with observation hockey is just an observation of the future after a moment, but Su Mu, it's as if one knows everything about the future very clearly. Kaido took a deep breath, thought about what would happen next, and said, that's a bold guess, kid. It's a no-cost business anyway, so what if I cooperate with you? If things really develop as you speculated, then I can cooperate with you. Tell me, what do you want me to do? After hearing Kaido's words, Sumu couldn't help but grin and said, hold that guy Red Hair Shanks so that he can't leave the New World and go to the Grand Line. With Red Hair Shanks' nosy character, he will definitely go to stop this war. This is too different from my plan. If you can hold back the Red Hair Pirates and prevent them from heading to the Grand Line and the Navy Headquarters, then after the success, Beehive Island is yours. As soon as these words came out, Kaido's eyes lit up, and a bit of greed appeared in his eyes. He said very seriously, Hey, kid, do you know what Beehive Island means? Certainly. Su Mu sneered and said, Isn't it the base camp of the Rocks Pirates? It is also the island closest to the legendary treasure left by Pirate King Roger, the final island of Raftal. You don't seem to be interested in the things on the final island. Kaido looked at Su Mu and asked in surprise. Su Mu, who heard Kaido's words, just smiled indifferently and said calmly, I have no interest in One Piece or anything like that. If you need it, I can also give you the red signpost text in Whitebeard's hand. It's a deal, kid, don't regret it when the time comes. Of course, I've never been one to go back on my word. Su Mu chuckled, then stood up and said, 
Well, now that we have discussed the first matter, why don't we talk about the cooperation on the second matter? As soon you finished speaking, Golden Lion and the others stood up. The next moment, as Su Emu's ability of the floating fruit was activated, in the holy land of Hyardo, the exiled celestial dragon Saint Charlos was controlled by the land at this moment and slowly fell towards the ghost island. Celestial Dragon. Kaido's observation Haki instantly detected the existence of the celestial dragons, and he couldn't help but frown and said, sometimes I find it incredible. You are really crazy. You actually carry this thing with you. This thing of yours can bring you huge troubles at any time. The power of those five old men is not so easy to deal with. Su Mu just smiled indifferently and said lightly, it is really useless to carry this thing with you, and it is easy to provoke threats from the world government, but, at least I met one, it would be a pity not to catch him. For me who possesses the power of the float float fruit, it should be an easy matter to catch this guy and make a deal with the world government, right? The real purpose, Su Mu did not intend to tell Kaido, nor did he intend to tell anyone except his own crew. The reason why he put up the celestial dragons was that Su Mu planned to borrow some manpower from Kaido. Let's have a public execution of the celestial dragons. Of course, he didn't want the celestial dragon to really die in his own hands. After all, this Saint Charlos still had a significant role to play. What Su Mu had to do was to make the world government dispel all doubts about this celestial dragon. Moreover, because of this incident, this Tianlong person came up with the idea of improving his strength and practicing, thus growing step by step into, a high-ranking official within the world government, and holds great power. Dismantle the world government from within. Not far from the waters of Wano country, the Navy's strongest fighter, Kazaru Borsalino, has already arrived here and has reunited with another of the Navy's strongest fighters, Akainu Sakazuki. Passing through the New World G1 naval base, the Navy is now ready to arrive at the Onigashima Island. I'm afraid that the strength of the two of us is not enough to defeat those guys from the monster group. Yellow Monkey drank black tea and said calmly, so is it too early for us to set off now, Sakaski? Akainu crossed his arms in front of his chest, looking at the sea in the distance, and said very solemnly, Kuzan should arrive soon. In addition, Tautu and Chatan have already arrived in the New World. What we need to do is to reach Ghost Island first and hold back the five emperors Su Mu and his monster group, and don't give them a chance to leave. After saying this, Akainu stopped talking, but Kazaru couldn't help but shook his head, not taking it seriously. After all, in Kazaru's opinion, this matter is not so easy to solve. Whether it is the monster group or the beast's pirates, they are the most terrifying evil forces in this ocean. Especially now that the monster group led by the five emperors Su Mu has come into contact with the beast's pirates led by Kaido. Who knows if the two sea emperors have reached any cooperation during this period, and will they work together at that time? Three admirals, two admiral candidates, and seven vice admirals. Such power is enough to destroy any force, but it is not easy to destroy the monster group led by the fifth emperor Su Mu. Because the other party possesses the ability of the float float fruit, he can easily leave from the sky. Although the admirals of the navy are powerful, it is impossible for them to reach an altitude of 10,000 meters. The only one who can do this is Borsalino, but if you want Borsalino to really help, it may not be an easy task. What's more, even if Kazaru went up alone, he would not be able to influence the situation. The five emperors Sumu, the golden lion Shiki, the red earl Redfield, the descendant of the devil Barrett, and the world destroyer Wald. As for these monsters, Kazaru is sure that once he goes up, he may not be able to come down again. Admiral Akainu. Admiral Kazaru. We are about to reach the rising sea of Wano country. As soon as the words fell, Akainu and Kazaru both raised their heads and looked towards the rising sea level not far away. Get ready, the war is about to break out. At the same time, Ghost Island. At this moment, the crew members outside the Beast's Pirates have also noticed the Navy warships approaching Onigashima on the sea level in the distance. After reporting this matter to Kaido, Kaido's eyes also fell on Su Mu. Hey kid, it looks like you've attracted those Navy guys here. Hearing this, Su Mu took a sip of wine nonchalantly and said in a very calm tone, it should be okay to borrow your ghost island as a battlefield, right? This is my base camp, kid. Are you kidding me? 
Kaido chose to refuse without hesitation and used his base as the main battlefield. There is no doubt that Onigashima would be in ruins after the war, and it might even have sunk to the bottom of the sea. Why linger on a little ghost island? Soon, even Beehive Island will be yours. Su Mu stood up and said calmly, Since you are unwilling to use Ghost Island as a battlefield, then we have no choice but to take the initiative to attack. As the Holy Land Arpaiato continued to fall, it finally hovered in front of the Ghost Island. Then Su Mu returned to Apayardone, and a smile appeared on his face as he looked at the naval warships approaching slowly not far away. Under the investigation of the observation hockey, Sumu also had a clear understanding of the combat deployment on the Navy ship. Admiral Sakaski and Admiral Borsellino. Two of the Navy's top fighters, plus seven of the Navy's elite vice admirals. And thousands of elite naval forces. A total of six warships, such a configuration is enough to destroy any pirate group on the sea. Even if they encounter a pirate group led by the Emperor of the Sea, such a configuration can compete with the opponent and not lose. But with such a firepower configuration, it is obviously impossible to deal with Su Mu and the monster group formed by Su Mu. Wald, say hello to our friends in the Navy. Su Mu's tone was very calm, and Walder smiled when he heard this, and said, No problem, Captain, leave it to me. The monster group lacks hot weapons, so Walder can only use the musket he carries with him as a means of attack. However, it is enough for now. Walder held a musket in each hand and fired more than 10 rounds of bullets in succession. The moment the bullet was fired, Wald also activated his Devil Fruit ability. Momo, 50 times. In an instant, the coverage of the bullets increased by 50 times, and then fell towards the location of the naval ship. The original bullet already looked like a cannonball, full of power. Seeing this scene, Vice Admiral Ghost Spider's face also became solemn. This is an attack from the world destroyer, Bondi Walder. Everyone, be on guard. Ghost Spider leapt up, unsheathed his long sword, and instantly cut down several, shells. Then he looked solemnly at the holy land not far away, Arpaiado. Captain, we have to prepare some cannons and other things. Just relying on muskets will not be able to give full play to my firepower advantage on the battlefield. Walder said somewhat unhappily, and Su Mu, who heard this, did not refuse, and agreed. After this battle is over, go and prepare those things, Kaido, lend me your 500 devil fruit troops. Kaido, who had already arrived at a pair, prepared to watch the show and not participate in the war, suddenly widened his eyes when he heard this and cursed. What are you kidding, kid? Do you know how difficult it is for me to form a devil fruit army? After this war, I'm afraid the number will be reduced by more than half. I won't lend it to you. Su Mu didn't care when he heard this, but said calmly, Anyway, for the scientist under Doflamingo, researching artificial devil fruits is not a difficult task. If you want to build a devil fruit army, it will only take some time. Think carefully, if you lend me the money, the benefits it will bring to you will be so great. Snort. Kaido glanced at Su Mu and said, remember what you promised. After saying this, Kaido left Arpaiado. Anyway, this battle itself had nothing to do with the Beast's Pirates. The Beast's Pirates only needed to watch the show. However, in order to ensure that the monster group led by Su Mu can firmly gain the upper hand in this battle, Kaido made a choice and prepared to send out the Devil Fruit Legion to help Su Mu. I didn't expect that even artificial devil fruits would be born in the ocean now. Barrett said in disbelief. During these years in the underwater prison, it seems that the sea has really undergone earth-shaking changes. It is only for the creation of animal-type devil fruits. It is still impossible to create superhuman and natural-type devil fruits through technological means. Even artificial animal-type devil fruits still have many defects. Su Mu said calmly and the defects of artificial animal-type devil fruits are very huge. They can't be compared with real devil fruits at all. Only Kaido would like such things. Enelu, prepare your ultimate move, don't let the navy reach my territory. Hearing this, Enel did not hesitate at all, his expression suddenly became extremely excited, and he said, no problem, boss. The time has come for God to take action. Look at you clearly and see what the power of God is. As soon as he finished speaking, Enel's body transformed into terrifying thunder and rushed into the sky. Except for the golden lion, 
everyone else looked up at the sky with some confusion. Even with the help of the Thunder Fruit, Enil's strength was only at the level of an elite lieutenant general. What kind of grand show could he bring? But not long after, the entire sky above their heads was covered by dark thunderclouds. Everyone who saw this scene took a deep breath. What the hell, with Enel's strength, can he really do something like this? With such a coverage area, even a medium-sized island would be covered, right? On the naval side, many sailors on the warships also noticed the thunder rushing into the sky, and naturally knew that it was the figure of thunder god Enel. The next moment, a roar came from the sky. The terrifying blue light rolled in the thunderclouds and condensed into an incomparably huge thunder ball, the coverage area of which was as terrifying as an island. Lei Ying, the thunderbolt that was big enough to cover the entire large island was flashing with terrifying lightning, as if it could destroy the entire world the moment it landed, causing all the navy members to open their eyes wide. Such a terrifying move, such a terrible coverage, is this the power of the thunder fruit? Thunder God Enel. This guy's strength is totally worthy of this title. Looking at the sinking Lei Ying, the navy members knew very well that if they did not deal with this thing in the sky and let Lei Ying fall to the ground, the blow to the navy would be absolutely fatal. But this level of terrifying tactics is no longer something that the vice admiral can stop on his own. Then, a man in a red suit, a cloak of justice and a resolute face stood up. I saw that his right arm had gradually turned into terrifying magma. The terrifying high temperature penetrated the warship and fell into the sea the moment it dripped. But Sakaski did not care about these problems, but raised his fist suddenly, accompanied by the surging of black and red magma, covered by the high temperature of thousands of degrees, like a volcanic eruption, rushing towards Lei Ying in the sky. Big fire. Magma and thunder are both among the most destructive forces in nature. The coverage of Enel's thunderbolt is extremely powerful and the moment it lands, it is enough to completely destroy everything within the coverage area. But for those powerful and domineering ones, the power of thunder contained in Lei Ying is not impossible to resist. Although Sakaski's punch did not destroy Lei Ying, it created a huge hole in the middle area of Lei Ying with the terrifying magma. Even if thunder can repair itself, Sakaski is already prepared for the second round of attack. Sakaski pointed his arms at the sky, and his terrifying aura was already entwining the surrounding magma. This term's admiral is known as the most powerful one in history. Each one of them is a human-shaped natural disaster. As long as they want, they can destroy any island in a very short time. Meteor volcano. One after another, terrifying magma bombs filled with high temperatures rushed into the sky like cannons and hit Lei Ying's surface. Accompanied by the impact of dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of magma bombs, Lei Ying finally did not land on the ground and had already dissipated. At this moment, Enelu had already turned into a bolt of lightning and landed behind Su Mu. At this moment, Enel's expression was a little ugly. His ultimate move was destroyed before it even landed. It still took too long for Lei Ying to land. If I could make Lei Ying as fast as lightning, then they would definitely not be able to stop him. Enelu said this in a very unhappy tone, but it was precisely because of this experience that Enelu later developed the 10,000 thunders with even more destructive power. Su Mu smiled calmly, but he didn't care about these questions. After all, if Lei Ying could land, it would be the most disrespectful thing to the admiral. As the most powerful existence on the sea, the power wielded by the admiral is absolutely powerful beyond imagination. I originally wanted to say hello to the Navy and give them a greeting gift, but I never thought that I would actually receive a greeting gift from the Navy. A helpless look emerged on Su Emu's face. The next moment, terrifying magma bombs began to fall continuously from the clouds. At this moment, with the terrible high temperature and the attachment of armed color, the power of those magma bombs was absolutely beyond imagination. A lava bomb is even enough to destroy a large warship of hundreds of meters. At this moment, everyone had obviously noticed the lava bombs that kept falling from the sky. Seeing this scene, everyone looked a little unhappy. Let the old man come. Golden Lion lit up his cigar and said with a somewhat unhappy look, the ability of the magma fruit, has the kid who is only fit to light candles at banquets now grown into the highest combat power in the navy. As Ying Ju and Ku Mu were unsheathed, the Golden Lion began to reveal his own terrifying aura. 
The terrifying domineering aura like a lion instantly swept towards the sea. I want to see how much stronger you are than Sengoku and Garp back then. As soon as he finished speaking, the power of the golden lion floating fruit was activated. As the ground of Urpeo continued to surge, huge lion heads continued to blast towards the sky. Lions feast. Huge lion heads made of mud opened their mouths towards the lava bombs falling from the sky, as if they wanted to swallow the terrible magma. The impact of a volcanic eruption is indeed powerful. Sakaski's use and development of magma fruits also draws on the idea of volcanic eruptions to develop his own abilities. Moves like big fire breathing, Hades dog, meteor volcano, etc., all turned their arms into craters, and the magma, with the impact force of the explosion, was enough to penetrate everything. The lions of the old times should have stayed in the corner and enjoyed their former glory as legends, instead of coming to this sea and continuing to stir up trouble. Sakaski said in a very unfriendly tone, if you continue to exist in this sea, your legendary reputation will be shattered, and you will surely end up with a dishonorable end. Golden Lion, it's time for you to leave. Ha ha, a kid who is only fit to light candles at banquets, is he so arrogant after becoming the Navy's strongest fighter? The Golden Lion's eyes flashed red, and he said arrogantly, you know, back then, even Sengoku and Garp didn't dare to talk to me like this. The power of the lion, Goshaki scroll. The navy ships have not yet arrived at Arpaiado, so at this moment, delaying the navy as much as possible, or even sinking the navy ships, will give them a huge enough advantage. The navy members seemed to understand this as well, and they all came up with countermeasures for the tricks used by the monster group. For a moment, it seemed as if neither of them could do anything to the other. But with the moment the golden lion's floating fruit was released, more than a dozen terrifying lion heads hundreds of meters or nearly a thousand meters long had also condensed. Then, under the control of the floating fruit, they seemed to come alive and stepped on the sea to attack the navy's warships. There's no need to use such embarrassing tricks, golden lion. Do you think you can destroy my warship? Sakaski roared, and the magma condensed instantly, blasting towards the more than 10 mud lions in front that were condensed under the control of the floating fruit. My magma is enough to swallow any object. Your mud lion can only increase the power of my magma. As Sakaski roared, the magma flashed with dazzling light. Big fire. The power of the float fruit and the power of the magma fruit collided with each other, and an astonishing impact swept in all directions. The terrible impact even caused a tsunami thousands of meters high in the sea. This is the collision of the top monsters in the sea. The monsters standing on the top of the pyramid, each possesses the ability to destroy the world and has a destructive power comparable to a natural disaster. Arrogant little devil, if you had met me on the sea, I would have sunk you to the bottom of the sea long ago. As the golden lion spoke, he instantly swung the Sakura Ten and the dead tree in his hands, slashing out two consecutive flying attacks. The terrifying sword energy reached over a thousand meters, and it was undoubtedly a slash that only a top swordsman could perform. The Golden Lion, who is once known as the world's greatest swordsman, not only has the ability of the float float fruit, but his physique and swordsmanship are definitely at the top of the pyramid in the ocean. Even without the power of the floating fruit, the Golden Lion is still one of the most terrifying monsters in this sea. Chopping. Hell Dog. The two men collided in the air, using their own methods one after another. Their powerful aura swept everything around them. If this fight took place on an island, the island would probably not be able to withstand the momentum and collision of the two and would begin to crumble. This looks really itchy. The lonely red, Baloric Redfield stood up, with a gleam in his eyes, and said, Captain, can I help? Certainly. Su Mu grinned, glanced at Redfield, and said calmly, show the terrifying power of the lone red to this sea. Clear. As soon as he finished speaking, Redfield pulled out a long sword from his umbrella, then leapt over the naval ship. The slash was also of the level of a great swordsman, and it was heading straight for the navy ship. Seeing this, Vice Admiral Doberman's eyes condensed, and he drew out the long sword at his waist to prepare for the response. However, at this moment, a flash of light appeared in front of the slash, and a long sword flashing with yellow light blocked the flying slash and slashed towards Redfield. The Navy's strongest fighter, Kazaru Borsalino. This is the territory of the beast's pirates. Sakaski is such an impulsive guy. 
If the beasts pirates intervene in the battlefield, it will be very disadvantageous for us. Borsellino frowned slightly, looking at the ghost island not far away, his heart was filled with worry. Obviously, the strength of the beasts pirates also brought tremendous pressure to Borsellino. Even if the beasts pirates haven't taken action yet, there is no guarantee that when the navy is at a disadvantage, the beasts pirates will take action directly, and then it will be troublesome. They didn't know when Qingji would arrive. If Qingji didn't come soon, they would be at a disadvantage. The holy land of Apeyard can be used as a battlefield. Due to the power of the float float fruit in the eyes of many monsters above, the navy has no way to land. If they want to fight, they can only rely on ships. Once the ships are destroyed, the navy will fall into the most dangerous situation and the situation will become extremely bad. Is this the confidence of a navy admiral? How dare you be distracted in front of me? When Redfield's voice sounded, Borsellino felt his eyelids twitching instantly. Under the warning of his observation hockey, Borsellino's body reacted the fastest. At the moment when Redfield's sword was about to pierce Borsellino's body, Borsellino turned into a flash of light to dodge the attack and instantly reversed the situation. Speed is power. Have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? Borsellino said frivolously, and then his right leg was only two fingers away from Redfield's head. But at this moment, Redfield grinned, tilted his head to avoid it, and swung the sword in his hand directly at Borsellino's thigh. Um. Borsellino was a little surprised that this guy could react to an attack at the speed of light, and at such a short distance. But on second thought, the lone red, Bararic Redfield, was a super monster comparable to the three legends in the old days with his own strength. It was normal for him to have such strength and dodge his attacks. Borsellino thought about this and was thinking about how to deal with it. It's really scary, lonely Redfield, you are a monster. Although his tone was contemptuous, Borsellino already felt the tremendous pressure from this monster from the old times in his heart. Because Borsellino gradually discovered something during his collision with Redfield. No matter what means he used to attack or what way he retreated, Redfield saw it all clearly. It was as if this guy could read his inner thoughts and react one step ahead of him. Did you find it? Redfield grinned, and Borsellino, who heard this, couldn't help but shrink his eyes slightly after seeing the smile on Redfield's face. Is this true or false? Of course it's true. As soon as he finished speaking, Redfield appeared behind Borsellino. He launched a terrifying slash from the level of a great swordsman, wrapped in the power of armed color, and quickly slashed towards Borsellino's back. After Borsellino reacted, he turned into a flash of light and was about to dodge, but he never expected that Redfield would appear halfway when he was dodging and kicked Borsellino away. General Kazaru. On the Navy ship, everyone was shocked when they saw Borsellino being kicked back. Looking at Redfield standing in the sky with the help of the moon step, everyone felt it was extremely terrifying. Is this the monster from the top of the sea pyramid in the old times that is imprisoned in the infinite hell? Even the Navy Admiral was kicked away by the opponent. The next moment, Kazaru turned into a flash of light again and appeared in midair, looking at Redfield with extremely serious eyes. Hey, isn't this ability too shameless? Borsellino's tone was no longer frivolous, and his expression became very serious, because Borsellino had confirmed one thing. Redfield, this guy's observation hockey can even read one's own thoughts. This ability, in battle, provides Redfield with an incredible amount of benefit. How did Marshal Kong lock this guy into the infinite hell back then? Kazaru complained, then turned into light again and rushed towards Redfield. A collision at the top of the ocean is continuing, and not far from the waters of Wano country, five warships are approaching rapidly. According to the information conveyed by Admiral Sakaski's warship crew, the battle took place in front of Onigashima. The enemy used the power of the float float fruit to lift an island into the air, which means that this might be a naval battle. Next to Admiral Kuzan, two alternate admirals are discussing the situation on the battlefield. Chadden said in a serious tone, if it is a naval battle, then we must hurry up and arrive. The other party has the power of the Piao Piao fruit. Once the Golden Lion or the Five Emperors Su Mu touch the naval warships, then everyone in front will have no place to stay. At that time, they will definitely be at a disadvantage, or even unable to continue fighting with the opponent, thus allowing the opponent to leave safely again. Tautu said, there is one more thing we need to pay attention to. 
the location of the battle is too close to the base of the beasts pirates, Onigashima. We have to consider whether Kaido will participate in this war. After Tautu finished speaking, Chatan also fell into deep thought for a long time. Almost all of the Vice Admiral forces of the G1 base have been deployed. When we arrive, if the beasts pirates really attack, we can also deal with it and delay time. The last person with the highest combat power in the navy, Admiral Qingzi Kuzan, who possesses the natural devil fruit and the ice fruit, said solemnly, in addition, Marshal Sengoku has also considered this and is communicating with the world government. If nothing unexpected happens, the strong men of the world government may not be much slower than us and will arrive at the battlefield. Tautu was surprised when she heard this and said, the world government is willing to help. I thought they would always rely on the strength of our navy. After all, he is a celestial dragon. All right. Before Chatton could finish his words, he was interrupted by Kuzan, who said in a deep voice, let's not discuss this matter. How far are we from the battlefield now? According to the current sailing speed, we will arrive at the battlefield in about half an hour. Kuzan nodded, looking at the sea level in the distance, and for a moment he didn't know what he was thinking about. Wano Country Sea, over the battlefield. The clash between Golden Lion Shiki and Akainu Sakaski is still going on. I have to admit that Sakaski is indeed the most destructive and physically powerful admiral of this generation. Facing one of the most powerful monsters of the old era, he did not show any stage fright. Even though he did not have the upper hand, he did not let the Golden Lion take advantage of him. On the other hand, the battle between the Lonely Red Redfield and the Yellow Monkey Borsalino is showing a somewhat bad situation. At this moment, Borsalino was actually suppressed by Redfield. This was something that was rarely seen in the past. You know, the Admiral is undoubtedly the top combat force in the ocean. At this moment, he was actually at a disadvantage facing the Lone Red. If it weren't for the terrifying speed of the Pika Pika Nomi, the advantage that Redfield could gain now might have reached an unimaginable level. Everyone, we have to find a way to land on that island. Huo Shaoshan said in a very serious tone, if we continue, this naval battle will be extremely disadvantageous to us. We must find a foothold. Hearing this, Huo Shaoshan and the others beside him, including Doberman, Ghost Spider, Weasel, Stolobri, Bastiu, and Sturz. The seven elite vice admirals of the Navy headquarters have all demonstrated their strength. The powerful momentum pressed towards the island not far away, and then the seven admirals, without any hesitation, chose to lead the way and rushed towards Arpaiado. Seeing this scene, Sumu couldn't help but show a strange look on his face, and said, are all the navy of this generation so brave? Hearing this, Douglas Barrett, who was standing behind Su Mu, showed excitement on his face and said, Captain, is it my turn? There are seven opponents of this level. I can feel the passion of fighting, right? After looking at Barrett, Su Mu did not refuse, but said calmly, if these vice admirals land in Arpaiado, it will be your problem, Barrett. Hearing this, Barrett showed no worry on his face. He grinned, and a terrifying aura gradually emerged. He said at the same time, if these guys can break through my line of defense, I am not qualified to be your monster crew, captain. As soon as he finished speaking, Barrett had already rushed forward, his terrifying momentum sweeping over. The seven admirals had already seen Barrett coming straight at them. Medium bullet form. Bullet punch. Barrett's fists were wrapped in amazing armament hockey, and he attacked the two fastest of the seven vice admirals. Here we come, Huo Shaoshan said in a very serious tone, the devil's descendant, Douglas Barrett. This guy is a monster that is not weaker than the generals, be alert. Oh. However, in the next moment, Barrett instantly arrived in front of the burning mountain. Huo Shaoshan's pupils shrank, and before he could react, he was already meeting Barrett's eyes filled with red light. Barrett grinned and said, so, even if you stay alert, how can you stop my attack? Bump. Boom. The vice admiral of the navy was like a fire burning a mountain, and he took Barrett's punch headlong. If it wasn't for the last moment, when Huo Shaoshan used the method of hardening his armed color and the navy's six styles, iron block, this punch would probably have directly caused serious damage to Huo Shaoshan. But even so, the current situation of Huo Shaoshan is very unpleasant. The weasel reacted quickly, and the long sword in his hand was wrapped with armament color, and he slashed at Barrett. 
Barrett raised his armed fist to block the sword, and at the same time, he kicked the fire mountain away. An elite vice admiral of the Navy headquarters. Apparently that's all he has. Barrett's eyes were full of mockery. The so-called vice admiral was nothing but a weakling like an ant in front of a real strong man. The weasel looked solemn, and after hearing Barrett's words, he also said, even if we are not your opponent in a one-on-one -on -one fight, we will do our best to defeat you. Ha ha, you can do it, then give it a try. As soon as he finished speaking, Barrett's terrifying domineering aura instantly swept towards the surroundings, and the seven elite lieutenant generals had to face this powerful momentum head-on. Obviously, even if Douglas Barrett's strength has not reached the level of a true admiral, he is definitely the top monster in the sea and a top strong man who can remain undefeated in the face of an admiral. It is obviously impossible to rely on seven elite vice admirals of the Navy headquarters to break through Barrett's defenses and set foot in Arpaiado. Huo Shaoshan had been kicked away at this moment. After bearing Barrett's punch, Huo Shaoshan had even lost the ability to fight. Doberman tried his best, but facing the strength of Barrett, he still had no chance of winning. And the most despairing thing is that from beginning to end, Barrett didn't even go all out, as if he was just playing with them. This guy's strength is totally beyond our ability to deal with. Lieutenant General Weasel's expression was extremely ugly. Looking at Barrett who was gradually approaching from a distance, he kept swinging the long sword in his hand, trying to delay Barrett's steps with flying slashes, and looking for the flaws that Barrett might reveal when resisting the flying slashes. But there is no doubt that facing the flying slash from Weasel, a swordsman-level player, Barrett didn't even have the intention to resist. At the moment when he was about to be hit by the flying slash, Barrett simply used the armed color domineering to raise his arm, pinched the sword energy with a palm, and threw it away. Such a horrifying scene made these elite naval lieutenant admirals feel deep despair. How should we deal with opponents of this level? This is very disappointing, Marines. Barrett grinned, and his violent domineering aura continued to impact the wills of the seven vice admirals. Their strong mental strength might allow them to withstand the impact of the domineering aura, but as Barrett wrapped his domineering aura around his arms. The next second, he attacked them at an extremely strange speed. They knew very well that if they didn't make up their minds to die today, they would not be able to stop Barrett. If the Navy is only at this level, it is really not worth mentioning. Compared with the past, there is simply no comparison. As soon as he finished speaking, Barrett's fist, wrapped in the domineering aura, appeared in front of the weasel's face. But just before he was about to hit the weasel, a terrifying cold came, causing Barrett to squint his eyes. When Barrett looked down, he found that his legs were already covered in terribly cold ice, and it was also sweeping towards his upper body. Ice. Barrett raised his eyebrows slightly, then raised his head and grinned, it looks like your Navy's support troops have arrived. A punch was thrown down, and a figure blocked the way of the weasel, holding an ice blade wrapped in armed color domineering in his hand. Alara, descendant of the devil, Douglas Barrett, you are undoubtedly a monster, you should retreat first, I will deal with this guy. As soon as he finished speaking, Chingji kept attacking Barrett with the ice knife in his hand. The strength of a Navy Admiral is completely incomparable to that of a Navy Vice Admiral. A monster strongman at the level of a Navy Admiral can even easily kill dozens of Navy Vice Admirals before his physical strength is exhausted. In terms of physical strength, domineering quality, destructive power and so on, they are completely not on the same level. Facing Ching Ji's continuous attack, Barrett couldn't help but narrow his eyes at this moment. After feeling the sharp breath on the ice blade, Barrett did not choose to resist, but kept dodging. I was wondering who it was. I think I saw you before. Admiral Aoki Kuzan, the top fighter of the Marine headquarters. Barrett could not help but grin after dodging the attack, and then a powerful domineering color instantly swept out and pressed towards Ching Ji. But even if the admirals themselves do not have the domineering aura of the conqueror's hockey, their powerful aura and mental strength are enough to withstand the impact of the conqueror's hockey and will not be affected in any way. When Mr. Cap came to capture you with the demon killing order, I was watching the battle on the boat. Ching Ji spoke in a very calm tone, slowly raised his hand and pointed it at Barrett's head, shouting, Ice time. The freezing moment came, and in this instant, extremely terrifying cold air instantly attacked Barrett. 
Barrett narrowed his eyes when he saw this, and his observation hockey noticed a flaw revealed by Chingzi. Without hesitation, he used his armament hockey domineering to block the cold air and kicked Chingzi in the abdomen. Ice ball. At the moment when Barrett forced Chingzi to retreat, Chingzi instantly seized the opportunity to counterattack, opened his palm and aimed five round ice balls at Barrett's body. The next moment, the five ice balls actually led to five thin ice pillars, which quickly attacked Barrett. Don't underestimate a strong man like the Admiral. Barrett grinned, the armament color on his fist already flashing with a dark light, and then he punched down fiercely, shouting, Devil's Fist. Bump. The brief collision still caused an extremely violent impact. Just as Barrett was about to continue looking for an opportunity to attack, suddenly, an astonishing sword energy attacked from behind Barrett. Barrett's observation hockey was in a diffuse state from beginning to end. After realizing this, he did not hesitate at all. A powerful armament hockey condensed and emerged, blocking the sword energy. However, the huge impact force brought by the sword energy still blew Barrett's body away. Although no substantial damage was caused, Barrett still felt very unhappy about it. Looking up, I saw a woman appearing beside Admiral Ching Ji. When he looked back, he saw the man in the brown jacket coming behind him. It seems that these two guys are very powerful. Although they have some shortcomings compared to the admirals, they are definitely capable of competing with the admirals. Is the Navy's foundation so profound? World Destroyer, Bondi Wald said very solemnly, and Su Mu, who heard this, also said very calmly, Navy Admiral Candidate, Tautu Gion, and Navy Admiral Candidate, Chaton Cake. They are also the two most outstanding people in the Navy headquarters, apart from the three strongest fighters and those strong men of the old era. If nothing unexpected happens, in five years at most, these two people will be at the level of admirals and become one of the strongest fighters in the Navy. Hearing this, Enelu couldn't help but narrow his eyes and said solemnly, it seems that the Navy headquarters has dispatched five admiral-level combat forces. I'm afraid it will be very troublesome to deal with them, boss. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.